stream has been started. I feel like YouTube streams take a little bit longer than usual to start now. Could be just be my connection though. But whatever. No, this one actually started right away. Nice, 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 nice. nice. That post right there. That post right there. Boy fit. Hello, hello, hello. Going all right. How you doing, fam? I saw someone say, thankfully, he's gonna have an early one this time. In the uh, in the response to the community post, and I was like, where did I say early? <laughs> I don't ever say early. Hello, hello. Is up here very early stream 12:52 on a Tuesday I never said early yeah hey, let's there what's good everybody how you doing Uzi let me uh hold up Let's get this. Survive tonight with the standings. I can't wait. Uh, the current standings of it. I mean, I'll say I'm after these games because some people haven't watched these yet. You lied to Tuesday night. It's Wednesday morning. Actually, Blue Ash, you're wrong. I never said Tuesday night EST. It is still Tuesday night in PST. Just saying. Just saying, I don't know. I'm just saying, you know. I do uh, I do know actually. I'm just saying. Be like that sometimes. Nice, Frosty. We got Pokemon Day coming out this this month. I might have some uh some advanced GG drops this month as well. I'm very excited. My night's going well, Tyler. Thank you. <laughs> this so bad the managed to be awake at Joey's stream yeah that's wild it's good to see you though I um you know I'm dropping this month for advanced GG guys I might be dropping some moo moo milk so stay tuned we got some moo moo milk coming out hopefully before Pokemon day <laughs> oh thank you happy Valentine's Day to you too did you get me anything Appreciate you, Kevin. Yeah, Susie? We call Moo Moo Milk. What's wrong with that? That's what Miltan produces. That was rough for me. Cost reminder that I'm alone. I'm sorry, Alistair. Just got this open right before Valentine's. Do you have any advice for a young guy with a broken heart, brother? Yeah. Play some video games and go hang out with friends. Nice, Volt. Hey, DJ. Hey, I'm chilling. What's wrong? Who they milking out of? The moose. Y'all know where milk comes from? Come on, guys. What's good? Just saw your Nachi video on everybody. Go <laughs> Enjoy. I hope you had a good time, right? It's not Joey Juice. It's called Moo Moo Milk. All right? It comes from chocolate moose, Cash. Just like strawberry milk comes from strawberry cows. The more you know. You know how flamingos eat shrimp and turn, you know, pink? Same thing with cows. They eat strawberries and turn pink. For chocolate, they eat chocolate. And for white, well, don't ever go to a farm if you're Caucasian. Be safe. Anyway, 
Let's go ahead and watch this, this Nexus game. New flavor? Uh, I mean, Meteor Burst is still there, but it's, it's just something I'll be using. It's not going to be called Joey Juice. You guys are nasty. What's up with y'all? How you doing, Glenn? Let's go and watch this, uh... Let's go and watch this, this Nexus game. Let me share on screen a while back that I lost two leagues and finals in a row. Well, I just lost a third. I don't need any sympathy. Just had to share, I guess. Gonna take a break from us. It happens, Butterfly. It truly, it happens, Butterfly. It really happens. I'm sorry, though, that happened to you. But it happens. Don't even worry about it. You'll get yours. You get yours. All right, let's watch this game. We got Nexus versus Kyle. Dude, you don't know what he does. I don't know what he does, my boy. Check out my boy, bro. Obviously, of course, he ain't never lose until today. I know where it's right. see. Um, he brings uh, he brings dog and mean food. He doesn't clap. Okay. Not so yet, no illustrations. Been, I haven't used it yet. Let's look at this team preview real quick. Kyle brought his Mianfu. <laughs> Yo, unironically, it smashes Nexus. It smashes Nexus. Oh my god. It actually smashes ne Nexus. Yo, I hope it's Terra Fight. I hope it's Terra Fight. Oh my god, and I hope he gets up webs too. He does have boots on Masquerada, which Masquerada is a pretty big problem versus Kyle, but I'm, I'm really excited about it. Yo, this this is actually very exciting. Dude, Mianfu is so good here. What's good, Car? Over the oh. oh my god, I don't even care about the rest of the team preview. Let's get it. Please, Mianfu, do something. Awesome. Uh, seeing Tenta is cool because I actually almost brought Bulletproof. Does it not I care about this a Bulletproof mark? bear or uh, uh, Guts, so but uh, when I was doing some mocks, uh, I felt like Guts would be more important just for like Flame Body Moltres. So no Moltres is massive. He does actually bring Dog. Uh, it only kills Pay me. For. Only because Arachi was baited. No Exadrill. Uh, Mifu actually does look broken into my entire draft. No, I'm, I'm not saying, even kidding you. It does. It looks so, good. I'm also running on my team. Tarantar, I'm excited. Tentacruel, Mifu, Vicavolt, Houndstone, and Clefable. So, okay. I think I just put a rock right away. No. Dude, Mean Food is probably fam. Scarf. It's not probably, it is. He has only one sandwich abuser. See that? Bro, Mean Food looks so good. Oh my gosh, please, please. That goes, um, please. dude, Kyle, man. Please do something with a Kyle. <laughs> Bro, here's one thing people don't know about Kyle. That could be like a spec C-tar. You don't know what this kid's gonna bring. Yeah, Kyle like, brings I got really You don't know what he's gonna bring, bro. Like, that's why he's, I didn't do too many mocks. Go ahead, go. I do like Bandit T-tar into Nexus team, though. I'll be honest, especially with like Sticky Web. This is Mystic Water Blaster, so I don't know if it has Rapid Spin, but it could be Shell Smash Spin. It's this kid, because I thought, you don't know, you don't know. Here's the thing, though, is I don't see extra drill, so my loaded dice, BD Scale Shot, Kiram is looking crazy, bro. It's looking crazy, bro. It actually looks nuts. It looks nuts. So, bro's name is Kyle Bay. Okay. Bro, again, I don't know what I'm facing. I don't know what I'm facing, so I'm just going to play it off out here. Plug it. Plug me in, bro. What? Free body has name, bro. What? Uh, do I get my rocks up right away, or do I let him get free webs? I don't want this thing to take damage in on this, so I'm actually just going to hard switch out into my Ursa Luna. And I just, I, I just. I, again, I'll the only reason five. why I took I'll out Bulletproof is because I don't think Kyle would click Energy Ball right away. And I took out Bulletproof yesterday. So, yeah, okay. Webs, webs, webs. Yeah, These oh my webs, god, yeah. Mianfu is gonna do work! The right. fool! Um, I just body slam. It's probably Terra Seal. It's like, not probably, it is Terra Seal. Uh, it's weird, Kyle has two Terramons, so I don't know if this thing's gonna actually Please, Terra or not. I think it's always body slam regardless, uh, right? I mean, what do you I go? You go out to the do you go to the dog? It. I guess the dog doesn't even deal with it. Yeah, it's not even actually psycho. That did nothing. That did nothing that did too. Nothing. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh, that wait, he actually uh, he actually Dude, almost I, wasn't on I, the one. I, I now have an immense regret. This is actually really really good for ne uh, for Kyle too because the dog council looks really strong. Uh maybe Demem Dash. Uh, next season will be for a long time in SBL. We don't plan on doing anything for. I don't think we plan on doing anything for Gen Nine. Unless uh, we can do those stuff for BDSP, those national decks, but there's no point in doing another Gen 9 season with SPL. SPL needs to be like big events, so Gen 10, uh, black and white remakes, etc., etc. What? That did zero damage. That's fire, Trevor. That's fire. I think it's flash cannons. I don't want to do that. Dude, that actually did zero damage. What? Yo, that mod is fierce deaf as hell. Um, was he trying to look at the percentage? I wish he it showed it. Draw. I almost went Kiramir, so let's see if I regret it. The dog? For Wiki? The dog. What the fuck? Oh, is he fluffy? Ooh. Dude, he has three Terra Captains. 
Oh, it's Black Sludge. Sludge. Oh, it's Trick Black Sludge. <laughs> dude, I'm scared of this guy, dude. I'm actually, this guy scares me. Trick he frightens me greatly. Trick -o. He frightens me greatly. Bro, Wait. what? Nigga? <laughs> it does get tricked. Okay. Dude, what? Yeah, Bike Mocha Bruce is actually smashed. It's got 100% be fluffy. No, am I tweaking? I'm going to just go stories and like, not here, rap spin. <laughs> trick. <laughs> trick. 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 Oh my god, trick. Yeah! Oh, trick There's actually a big trick for it. I'm not even he actually, this he actually, weird, dude. He, he, he actually could have went Toxic Croak unironically, but then he can't tear it. I mean, it's pointless, right? He gets no effect off it, but I get negative drawbacks. That's so funky, fire. Then. Oh my um, god, Miyafu's oh, looking so good! I almost went out into my croak. Yeah, I'm really surprised. But I kind of want black glasses. That's the thing is, I don't want anyone else tricked. Feel me? I mean, you just hit this, right? I, I don't, I don't, I don't, like, I can't find a way to spin. Bro, Mianfu actually looks insane. I, I don't know what he's gonna do. I don't know. I just wave crash, I guess. I'm sorry, I'm very excited it's about hard. this Mianfu. Because I want to I get the opportunity to rapid spin. I definitely want to get the opportunity to rapid spin for sure, but I'm gonna wave crash. I don't think he's gonna to me. I don't think he's gonna get any opportunity to rapid spin. If he's not either. fluffy, he's gonna hurt. Yeah, I would have. I thought he'd miss. Damn! Ooh, that is so much! Damn! Ah! Am I cooked? Ooh, no spin to- Oh my god, mashallah! No spin today, sir. Those webs Dude, are what? everything. He's poltergeisting. I think I think going to move here. Well, Rachi didn't I matter, need to right? Spin. That did too much damage. I don't think he ever get, he can never get a spin. He can't. Bro, he literally can't get a spin. He also can't switch in on this do, dog. Bro. Like dog is going for body press here too. If what the hell do I there's no do? reason there's no reason not to go for body press here. That's good, great. Like you should always be body press. I, I don't know. Yeah, oh, Shadow's from the kill. Shadow's fine too. Just I can't, for I can't get the webs right here to stay, I guess. Yeah, sticky barb is better. I guess I can go cat. Cat not taking webs is. I just gonna knock. Yeah, I guess I can go cat. Bro, legit. If this wasn't boots, Alistair, thank you for subbing again, fam. I appreciate you. Legit. If this wasn't boots. Oh man, if this wasn't boots, that Miemfu comes in and cooks. It's like knock. Good luck, dude. Right? Black Sludge trick is huge. I, I I couldn't find an opportunity to switch out. I don't know. I wanted to obviously keep nah, it around, okay. but like, who do I go out into? You know what I mean? I don't. I, I can't. I need Cat and Toxic Croak for sure. I don't want to pop a Beavis policy right now. If I go Bear, I'm like, I'm like, what? What do I? Like, he just attacks me the next turn. Also, losing your AV means Vikable. Well, probably like has a body a slam day. or something, or body press. Sorry, and I don't want to take that. Same with Kiram. You know what I mean? If Kiram would come in, I would just be slower than it. Yeah, I just knock. He sneaks, right? Now you just switch up. What, Vikable or Clef? It's Take Clef matters, sure. Clef. Nice. You get a Brox here. Uh, knock, knock that. What is that? Rocky? Lefties? Okay. That's not bad. Let's come back in this game. Um, I'm gonna think I'm just go with the Rachi. Yo, the Rachi. I should go with my bear. No, my bear's a lot more aggressive here. This Rachi doesn't even beat it, which is crazy. I have gunshot. My bear's a lot more aggressive here. Yeah, if you have rocks, you go for them. Clef does get rocks. You want to chip away at Karam? So let's see if he plays rocks. Ways, okay. Oh, okay. Big, big play, big play. I'm gonna gunshot. I'm not gonna have anything. I think if you sack dog. Out, I really don't care. Just this one, just really don't care. I think you sack dog. I don't think. I think you need Clefable. I could give me less to me. You know. So Sarge is gonna play the gunk. If Crew and Titar come out, I'm fine. Titar could, could have low kick. Let's see. But I don't think you bring out a Titar or Saluna. Can I connect, please? Oh, thank you. Of course. Uh, oh, of course, dude. Of course. Unfortunate miss. Man. And now, and now oh. it's not. It's not three. I don't think it's three KO by body. <laughs> body plan. Of course. Just because the extra turn, um, the two turns of left are recovery are huge for this one. I feel like I can go out into. Well, the problem is if I don't know if he has flash cannon or not. Bug buzz. He has to have bug buzz. I need me and to come ball. in, bro. Last two moves I don't know. It has to have bug buzz, no? Oh yeah. I think I'm a body set one turn here and see. Dog gonna drop. Nice. Yeah, oh, no, I did way no more damage than the first one. I mean, I know it's like resisted, but whatever. I keep thinking bug resist poison. Hey, I'm stuck in a general mindset. No, bug yeah, does resist poison. I gotta stop gas out of myself, bro. Yeah. Or no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Okay, let me stop, let me stop, let me stop, stop. Um. Again, like, he could potentially be Terra Steel. That's my problem here. 
I think I DD on it once. What up, Max? That's what I do. You Can know. I take? Let me see. You do. You definitely take Energy Ball into uh, Flash Cannon. Kirim's very strong. I think Nexus should have been using Kirim like this a lot more. In the no, season. Flash Cannon actually has a chance to kill. I can't do that. Maybe Terra Steals. Really? It's like max defense, though. Did you calc max defense? Yeah, the gunk would have. This would have secured the kill. With gunk. I love Vikavolt so much. Legit, if it had Roost, this thing could 6 all this whole team. But yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't the kill with gunk. Is it crazy to go out into. I don't want this bear to die. Feel me? So the dog can't click Poltergeist for free? That's fair. Dude, Tyranitar looks like a problem. That's like saying a body slam. Yeah, no Ladius as well, too, either. That's pretty big. Yeah, I agree. He's energy ball to secure the kill. Okay, Man. big. Helps out dog, let's dog with Poltergeist. Ball, I just don't want to take that risk. Michael literally does rule. I agree. He does have healing wish. The two left. bulky fat guys are gone. Here's the problem. Vicavolt, if it's max special attack, which it doesn't look like it is, I think it was- Blastoise looks so stupid holding the black sledge. Hey, good luck, Panther. You should sleep if you need to. Dude, Blastoise holding this is just so funny. Taking it. Because Body Slam was doing 53 to 63 if it's not max HP. Uh, I think it has a lot of defense investment, so it can't be modest. Well, it could be modest with, like, a lot of defense. Much love, Gen C. I appreciate you, fam. Let's see. Good luck, Sirloin. Um, That's all I'm saying. You could try. I don't think a Terra Steel Flash can actually kill me. I mean, you gotta you gotta get damage off on this guy. I got DD scale shot. You definitely got you definitely just get damage on this thing with Vika Ball. You don't need Vika Ball anymore. There's no point. You literally don't need Vika Ball. You just I get damage. I just beat this thing anyway. Do you 100 need? I just think it's too tanky to be able to like nuke me. Like Clef can't kill it. Defensive Tyranitar can't kill it. You literally need damage on. With a Terra Steel, I don't think you'll. I don't think he's gonna Terra into his 20 HP as well too either. Never great. So we should not be seeing Kyle switch here. <laughs> yep. Okay, he's in. Bug Buzz probably gonna Let's do like 40, 40 percent. He does not. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if Tyranitar is, I guess I don't know though. I don't think that because Clefable doesn't kill. Clefable doesn't kill. I guess you gotta go Titar. Mean Fu does outspeed me right now if it's scarfed. Ooh, is it scarf? Please. Please be scarf. No, it doesn't kill. I, I don't know if it's unaware. Even Let's it, assume. Like unaware gets two a KO by Isaac Spear and it doesn't kill back. So like I think he should have went Tyranitar. Considering he has Jirachi, Toxicroak, and Miyasuka right in the back, I definitely think Tyranitar should have came out. Just to um just to take the hit and kill it. You still need Clefable for Miyasuka. So now you're letting Miyasuka Rada be a lot harder. So I think this is a misplay on Kyle's part. Unless his Tyranitar is like minus defense nature. Okay, let me see. From this point on, okay, if, if this Clefable is... I think I'm fine because Iron Head right now. If it's not just unaware to 58 to 69 if he's max HP, max defense. And, okay, it can't kill me from this point though. Yeah, that's Moonblast why. Moonblast cannot that's kill you... me. But if he's modest, with no investment, damage. Moonblast can't kill me either. But if he's modest, like a max special... I mean, T-Wave doesn't even save the thing is the problem. Like, let's say this is unaware. Let's assume this is unaware. If it is unaware, all you got to do is stay in with Vikavolt and click Bug Buzz so you get the damage so that way you can knock it out. You don't need Vikavolt. Maybe as a sack from Yaskarada, but you can always sack Houndstone. So, I don't know. I think that he definitely should have um, attacked with Bug Buzz because Clefable's going to live and then get a Moonblast off and leave it around this HP. And there's that's where the difference with Bug Buzz or not. I'll attack one. I even still have a chance to live. Summon Iron Head. Plus, he can flinch, too. Hope I just get a yeah, flinch. Yeah, it is unaware. Nope. Okay. And it's a luring voice, which is cool. I mean, I guess Bug Bugs didn't kill from that spear. point, too. I'm, I'm tweaking. I just go spear. What am I doing? I have to spear here. I'm I, I need to, like, calm down and relax. Yeah, I spear definitely better. Fluff might live, I too. I like I spear here, no? Just for the five? I don't know. I definitely see like it's unaware as well, too. I still think Bug Buzz was just better. Vikable doesn't beat anything. Like, I, I don't kill from this point, so I would need to flinch. I don't know, we'll see what he does. Okay, let's get flinch. Oh, we just knock it out. It's a crit? It's big, actually. Oh, that's just I didn't think that, that was gonna kill. Damn. 
No. If he didn't bring out Minfu, I don't think it's Garf. I'm having a good night. This is also another reason why I think he should just win hard Titar. Like, Titar actually has the power to kill Kirim. Whereas Clefable doesn't. I wonder what build it is. I feel like Miku has to be Scarf now. What? What do you mean? Why is this channel name? Miku's low. Hamstone's Nexus... low. If we can manage Minfu, we should be okay. Let me get my Snapple, bro. Let me chill out. <laughs> get my Snapple. Right. Chill out. <laughs> Clef is gone, Vigavolt's won. If he brings out Vigavolt, I scale shot. If he brings out Houndstone, I scale shot. Basically, his scale shot looks free. Because I have it, I have the, the screen push. Maybe he's forgetting about the minus one speed. Because I'm actually at neutral. I'm only at plus one attack here on neutral. Top G-Tar. Yeah, that, this, this is exactly like, if C-Tar was going to come in anyway after, just Volt switch out to T-Tar, at least. Because you get the Sandstorm chip, you get the Volt switch chip, at least it makes the sack, right? Because you're not t you're not throwing with T-Tar, you can still sack Vikavolt. So that would allow you to keep all your Pokemon. Hey, Zanny. A, a little bit of a misplay on Secure my plus one versus Tyranitar? Never kills. They never kill him. You're doing 87 max. So if he's max HP, uh, nah, Iron Head always does more. The minimums, Iron Head is 58 to 69. Iceless Spirit is 60, 56 to 63. I could also Iron here, Iron Head to also try and get the flinch. The only reason why I would click. Spears yeah, and I, I could click it as well too to try and get a flinch here. <clears throat> so Iron Head and Mechalk is always doing more. Let's go for Iron Head. <laughs> I don't understand this guy. I don't get him. He's Wait. Scarfed right He's scarfed Wait, if it was Scarf Press too, because if you're Scarf Press, you also have Scarf. Okay, this is 100% then. Tarantar should have came in, period. If it's Scarf Tar, surely it had a rock move too, right? It should have. Tarantar should have came in, period then. Like, you just kind of sat Clef. Tarantar. You Scarf Body Press. I don't get this guy at all. <laughs> I don't get this guy. Okay, I'm at neutral speed, but T-Tar doesn't outspeed at all. Like, if he's jolly, it doesn't outspeed me. Yeah, I think- he's Scarf. Uh, definitely misplay Sack and Clef. I don't get this guy. I don't get this guy. Like, Clef also beats Toxicroak if it ever Terra Darks, too. Like, Clef is really, really, really good. I don't I don't get it. Now he's down a Like, Meowskarado looks super deadly versus him. I mean, it wouldn't have been a differential as well, right? He well, Clefable wouldn't have died. Yeah, because he's Scarf Tar as well. Like, he knew it was Scarf Tar. I don't think Nexus is ever to swap, too. Yeah, Clef makes it, um... Because you at least would get the chip on Toxicro, too. For, like, Mianfu. Hey, bro. I don't get this guy, bro. Help me, dude. Help me. Okay, I think I can br bring this thing out. And get a free Swords Dance, no? I could also go Rachi. I don't know. Nah, let Croak. He's Scarf. There's no way he outspeeds me there. Yeah, he's enjoying draft. I'm glad. That's fine. He's Scarf Body Press. I think I can Sword Dance here. The only problem is Tentacruel breaking through that. Uh, I mean, Tentacruel can't do anything back to you. Does he even have a Psychic move? Let me look at Tentacruel. Let me see. Yep, I Sword Dance here. Doesn't have any second moves. Scarf T Tar, man. It gets Miracle and Rest. <sighs> Croak. Minus one and on. Croak is still faster as well. Kyle could be hit, anything. It got hit by Sandstorm. He could potentially outspeed me, so I'm gonna sucker punch. I'm doing well. Yeah, Sandstorm just hit him, so he doesn't get outsped. Taser, I know all of his four moves now Volt, Bug, Energy, and Webs. That Scarf Tar is not that bad. It still makes sense. It's faster, I can wear things down it's for faster the cast. than Scarf Rachel. Okay. Scarf Tar is actually a really good bring by Kyle. Nice. Nice. I don't know what this mean blue is. He's keeping it in the back. It could be Terra Fairy, maybe. I don't know. Could be a speed tie, I guess. I think he takes weight. Uh, Vikavol only hits 207. Okay, mean blue doesn't get at neutral I'm trying to see 203, I think. It could at be neutral like max. build. Who really knows? It doesn't get a psychic move. It doesn't get like I don't think it'd be a anything cringe. <laughs> but I guess you know? it's fair. It doesn't get back wave or mock punch. If your top, if your dog has um, what's it called? If the dog has Willowis, you go to the dog right now. Like I think I would tear out of it always. The problem what is like, gunk? <laughs> I would probably have to stay. Yeah, it has to have Willowis, right? What the hell? This guy have Wisp. What the hell? 
He might trick. Or Willow, he might Willow, he might Willow, he might Willow. Hey, you got it, Uzi. He has Pult, Shadow Sneak, Trick. And I don't know the last move. Could definitely be Willow. I really don't want to get Willowed here. But you don't really have a switch in, do you? I, I feel like last slot is not... I, I'm thinking body press, but he also has trick, no? Thank you, Orca. I don't know if I switch here. Maybe he's trying to shadow sneak, get it in range of Mianfu. Trick doesn't do anything. Kayo. Yeah, music water. Please connect! Yes! Kyle, I'm not sucking punches! I suck my nuts, go! Alright, 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 alright. Kyle, leave up, bro. Okay, I did my black glasses. Which is a free life orb, which sucks. Dude, what the fuck is it mean, Lou? Is it Terra Steel? I think he should've- I think he should've chipped it a little more. Can it kill me? I think he should've chipped it a little more with Shadow Sneak, bro. I think Shadow Sneak was better. We'll see, though. He had Psychic Fangs on Dog? Damn! Forward. It's in my favorite acrobatics. No item can't kill me either. I don't know what this means to is. Oh my god. Oh, I think Kyle should have just went for it. This is the thing. Like, sometimes not everybody knows what tech you're going to run, right? Like, if I'm Nexus, I assume will o which is why he gunk shot too. Because it's like, okay, cool. I get the damage off anyway. I'm opening up for my um, my Jirachi plus my Meowskar out in the back. So if you're Kyle, you kind of have to attack there. But I... I didn't click Healing Wish when it was an auto win, so I'm not really one to talk about chokes. If it's acrobatics, it happens. With no item, it never kills. Actually, that's a lie. It does 298 max. It's in my favor. I'm sitting at 276. So slightly in my favor that I live that. I, I, I don't know. Okay. What? I think I can just gunshot a spot, because what does this thing do to me? Right? Like. I don't even know what Terrico is doing here. Mm. Gleam is neutral. I just don't Terra, and I click Gunshot on this guy. Gleam does like probably forty percent. Hell, hex. Ooh, I'm fine. Nice chip. Yeah, at this point he's just losing to. Um, um I just gunk again. At this point he just loses to Miasco. I don't know. Just I just the table's going anyway. Just in case he switches out into anything, I just gunk again every time. Scarf Titar, man. Bro, he would have had all his Pokemon alive if he had that. No, Hikes Tentacle is fire. He's two spikes, okay. That doesn't even do anything. He's trying oh, to outplay come on, a Sucker guy, Punch. Come on, big guy, 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 come on, big guy. No! <laughs> I think you get a drain, even if you get the you lose health because of it. I don't think it, I don't think your HP actually matters. Can I not? Hang on, if I Sucker Punch again, if I, if I FD again. Yeah, I think so too, Ren. If he SDs again, Croak is just going to kill everything. Can I not just SD again? I guess he just did that for the suck. I'm not even thinking about that now. Yeah. Croak is a Terra Captain. I think going to rack up. Dude! What are we doing, man? It Does Drain Punch kill? Yeah, it, probably, it most likely did. It's the worst game I've ever played in my life, dude. Oh my god. Just don't read sucker here, I'm fine. I missed out two opportunities, man. Look at Toxico, look at all the way up, bro. We're gonna hurt his neck. Switching the T-Tar here would be terrible. I almost drain punched. I think at this point, Mian felt Mian yes. wins anyway. It's just dead, okay. Hey, hey Skyla, that's yeah, enough. And, One win is all you need. Terrible, dude. Nah, you don't got a Terra because you can like force like something from T-Tar. What does this mean, Fu? If he ever was Scarf as well, he had... Ah. Um, I'm just a little sad because I wanted to see the Fu put in work. Earthquakes here, no? He has it. I'm contemplating if I go out to Meow Skarada here, but I don't know if I do that. I think Meow Skarada is a choke. It's faster than Scarf Tar. Always. Unless... No, no, I don't do that. I Sucker Punch here. And then I go out into my Jirachi. Jirachi pops, pops weakness policy. Terra Fire Sucker. Uh, Terra, Terra Dark Sucker. Terra Dark, Terra Dark Sucker. You get more? Yep. I guess it does nothing. That's fine. Scarf Flame Tar. Really I don't think it had Stone Edge. Did Kyle's T-Tar not have Stone Edge? I guess that's why he wouldn't bring it on Kirim. 
He's unfortunate that he clicked Flamethrower. Let's go and open Hades for Earthquake because of Max HMX defense. I'm gonna Drain Punch here. It's fine if he goes Mean Food, it doesn't bother me at all. Even even just going T-Tar anyway and just to get the extra chip would have been good. What up, Mo? Mean Food's looking scarier and scarier by the minute. Yep. I guess because- I'm good. Oh, I thought the burn activated. Big? He had body no press. It's not, awesome. it's not. I can drink much recover he all had power. this back. No, he had power jump as well? Damn. Because nice. even like going T-Tar just to get the chip on that and then having Clefable at the end. Oh well. And I don't think anything Mean Food does kills me. Terra fight CC banded? Terra fight CC banded, the foo. At least. Okay. I just end. Terra fight CC banded is not gonna kill anyway. Terra fight reckless high jump kick banded. I should be fine, but I don't know what Kyle has. Terra fight reckless high jump kick banded. Send is safest. Terra fight reckless high jump kick banded. I feel like he's not sealed on. It's either fighting or fairing. Terra fight. Terra fight. I can't drain if he goes fairy, and I can't fight. Terra fight. Terra fight. Steel, so let's see. Okay, Terra fight. Okay, Terra fight. Terra fight. High jump kick, reckless banded. High jump kick! There's like no universe this thing kills me. Nice. Woo! Guys, what a game! Oh, we still clutched up! Played that end game very good. We still clutched up. Fat 2W for like... us to a win. Dude, Kyle had me on the edge of my seat, bro. Did it have did it have a means of hitting Toxicro? Cause damn. It would like, even like actually would have beaten a uh, thing at the end too. Yeah, that actually did zero. <sighs> Good game to both. I'm sad though. I want to see Mianfu put in more work. I, I think Kyle, uh, like I said, I just think he vaulted to the wrong mon. Like even this Jirachi, this Jirachi doesn't beat Clefable. <laughs> it gets Thunder Wave and just it doesn't have Iron Head. So yeah, I know it was Max Max, but still. Good games. Uh, check out both of them. I have all their links down below. Ma again, make sure you support all the coaches. Let's watch Shuckle versus Seabed. I want to see Seabed's side, but because I know he's trying a different style, so I want to see it. But I want to see. Oh, he's also doing something different where he puts the team builder. Ladies and gentlemen, in a separate video. Leave a like. All right. Um, hold up, because I want to watch Shuckle's intro if he has one. Hello? Huh. I guess he's bringing Ludicolo this week. Golo. I'm glad you liked it, Edwin. Got it. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm not I'm not putting this this I'm gonna get flagged by Pokemon. Are you wild? Come on, bro. We're putting a whole Pokemon Oh hey, there we are. Again, Seabed. Okay, he just did that. It's a skit. You can't say skit and just put a Pokemon episode. <laughs> Shout out to Shuckle. Yeah, all right. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I wasn't going to watch that. He didn't get. To be fair, he didn't get flagged. Yeah, the thing is, I might get flagged, though. I've gotten flagged. Like, Drew didn't get flagged when he put that music, but I did. Oh, it was the sun? That's the joke? Damn. Match up Shuckle Premier League going up against Shuckle King himself looking to pick up a big W here too. Strong team. Strong team. Weak team. AV, Heat Rock, Life Orb, Choice Scarf, Heavy Duty Boots. Yeah, Gouging Fire. We talked about how insane it was. We basically talked about what Shuckle should bring here as well. This is going to be really interesting. I like the Scarf Walking Wake. Uh, just outspeed backs as well. Yeah, we'll watch Shady. I know he also did a different one as well. Let's watch it today uh team builder will be in the description of this video if you guys want to go check that out and it's going to be a little post commentary as Ooh, well post -com. trying to find out what you guys like what you guys don't like what works better um as you guys can see on the team personally i don't like post common draft because i like to see people's live reactions but i understand the appeal and also considering chase is still trying to figure out what he wants to do i think post com is fine for what he wants to do but i'll just say for me i don't like post com wi-fi battles as much as much as live when it comes to draft specifically, just because I love to see like people's initial reactions to sets. I also grew up with postcom and yeah, a lot of people lied a lot. So either way, excited to watch this. And again, check out both of them too. Here uh, we are, but I understand some people don't have time to watch the entire video, which is why I respect everybody who 
cuts out certain parts as well of their live com too. I think that's completely great too. Bring in very, very heavy sun, and my man Chuckle King is bringing very, very heavy weather. Uh, I talked about it in the team builder. We are bringing Mammal Swine as a very dedicated lead here just to make sure that we can Oko the Pelipper and just win the weather war. Uh, just right out the gate with the freeze. I agree, Glenn. He matches up into a fair amount of his team, really. Um, yeah, I knew he was going to make that play. Right it's like my does. Um, favorite thing you know, people say. Sun, and he were to lead with the Pelipper itself. Uh, we would be I think Hayden does post comp pretty well, though. Setter in against our sun setter. So hopefully, good bait. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, play more style is really nice, too, because they're actually just reacting to the game, kind of like we are. He's scared of the Excalibur if it can set up. He did bring the potential hazard setters with spikes on the Greninja, with rocks on the the Bronzong. Both of his potential terror captains as well are coming to play. So we'll see how he wants to lead. So kicking things off, he does lead off with the Greninja. Greninja. The here. And one big thing to note that was pretty prevalent in Gen 7. Yeah, I saw Hayden did a live combo. I was very proud of that. And I may fall on the wayside is that you always want to make sure that your Greninjas are male Greninja. If they are, uh, male Greninjas are the only ones that can be battle bond. So this being a female Greninja, um, there's a very good chance that it is uh, the only Protean. I doubt that he would bring Torrent. Is that still the thing in this generation? Is that still a thing in this generation? Because I know that they have the, uh, the what's it called now? Grinja. I think it is still a thing. Yeah, special event ability. Yeah, yeah, it is still a thing then. Okay, yeah, it is. Cool. Making sure. It is, because it's a special event ability. Nice. So, um, given that, I think that a physical Grinja makes a little bit more sense. So, I want to stay in and take this. I don't think that he'll go for an offensive move. See, like, like what Chase said right there is fire, but that could have been Chase looking that up to make sure that was cool in post comp. Like if he said that in live comp, I'd be like, damn, nice job. That's something I haven't remembered in a long time. But yeah, though Chase did watch a lot of Gen 7, etc. So he knows about Greninja, Greninja. Right out the gate here. Um, I just want to get a little bit of speed control. If he goes for like a low kick or something like that, we can take those. We do see the is Protean. We make the right read as he goes for a U-turn. That is doing a lot of damage. Uh, Life Orb Greninja there, just I absolutely agree. doing some stuff to us here. Um, we've got a few choices to make. Chase, if you react to my reaction, uh, not react to my, but if you hear this, I would love a mix of live comm and post comm. Like, just see your, I mean, I don't know, maybe you did it here, but just see your initial reaction to something I think would be pretty cool. Moon Milk coming soon for real? Oh, yeah, that's actually real. Yeah, that's like, it's going to be, uh, it's tarot. It's not actual milk tank milk or anything. It's just, uh, it's a reskin. So it's pretty cool. Um, we can stay in and attack whatever wants to come in. Um, I agree. Any sort of like a rock set, he can go out into the Hatterene, which is exactly what he does, uh, hoping to magic bounce some hazards back to us. Thankfully, we are able to get some good damage off with Rock Tomb, just a little bit of chip. Uh, the of course, speed Rock on a like, base 30 special attacking Pokemon isn't too necessary here. Um, and this is what we packed the Heavy Slam for. Heavy Slam into a max HP Hatterene is doing quite a bit of damage, so we'll just stay in and keep attacking what's in front of us. Um, there's no sense in my mind to make any reads that we don't need fire. to make. Uh, we are able to take the Mystical Fire that this thing might want to throw off, thanks to our Thick Fat and our Assault Vest. Yeah, I know he's, key. Um, he's testing multiple things defensively well. naturally, so a Psyshock wouldn't do too much to us as well. I love the minimalist. Um, uh, and yeah, you know, this could be a good opportunity for Mammoth to start going ham right out of the gate. Uh, I love this. Doing a clean amount of damage as the Hatterene ends up going for a calm mine now. Ooh, big misplay there. I I love this. This is nice. I did. Puts us in a really commanding position here because a second heavy slam is going to knock this thing out. Um, and again, I'm just not going to make any any blind judgments. I'm just going to go on ahead and click the heavy slam one more time uh, because that is going to be the play. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to make any blind judgments, but you see him hovering over the rock too. I'm, I'm glad he talked about that. Bring over Rock Tomb here potentially or freeze dry because the I feel like the Pelipper is a very easy switch here. But I don't like I said I don't want to make the reads. I can knock out the Hatterene that's in front of me. Um, this is a big just, KO just as well. Now, put us on a little bit more of an offensive start. Dragon move become free. Roughly three quarters of our health. So depending on any sort of special attacking set, hey. we are able to still take some good damage. And we'll see here that if I did make that, if I did want to oh, make that crazy good. read into the Pelipper going for a freeze dry right out of the gate, that would be that would have been just amazing. When it releases, I think, I think uh, it'll be this month long, hopefully. Long, long, long Best case now. this month. Uh, again, worst we are case able to take a lot month. of hits from a defensive Pelipper, even some offensive Pelippers. We are able to hit pretty hard. So I'm gonna go for the freeze dry. Dude, he has no freeze dry switches. It was confirmed that this was a scarf Pelipper. I guess he's not going bronze on because he's fearing knockoff. But he's going to assume most likely Icicle Crash plus Earthquake. That, which I thought was really, really cool just to be able to get that off. He goes for a Surf. Uh, <gasps> modest Scarf Pelipper in the rain, bringing us down to 23. We're able to live that free Damn! drive from the round. And he Knocking wins the, the Weather War! That's the weather so war. big! So, Mamoswine has done great. Mamoswine has, has scared out the Greninja. That's Mamoswine has so done some big! Great damage to the Hatterene, and Mamoswine has taken care of Bro, the you get up sunny, and you just really gouging fire hit. everything. Really we were able to pick this up in free agency a few weeks back. I'm um, just doing a lot of work right out of the gate. You're showing the... That's uh, the, huge! Uh, just just, just how, how reliable it can be overall. It's right? not going to happen, So whatever ends up coming in, provided it doesn't threaten me immediately with setting up with something like, you know, Backscalibur or something along those lines, because obviously we have a lot of special attack investment. We wouldn't do too much to it right out the gate. Uh, although Heavy Slam might be able to chip it down. He had uh, Weather Ball? We're probably just going to let this thing go down. Oh, he had Weather Ball? I understand not going for Weather Ball, though. I get it. I get it. Because if they go nine tails, you get no value out of that. And then you baton pass out, and you get him walking away, and he cooks something. Hey, go odd breakfast. Oh, uh, I will say, 
uh, I'm gonna give a little spoiler. So what we're planning on doing is obviously I'm gonna have Moomoo Milk be a reskin of uh, Taro. I'll show you. And GG. Then why can't I type? Jesus. Christ. So um, yeah, Moomoo Milk is gonna be a uh, reskin of Shop. It, it will be caffeinated though. It's, the, it's like my favorite caffeinated flavor. I drink mainly hydration, but it's my favorite caffeinated. Do they not have taro anymore? Yeah. So it's going to be a reskin of this. It's going to be Moomoo Moo Milk. And we're also going to have a bundle and also separate where it's going to have a Moomoo Moo Milk sh uh, ice shaker. And we're looking to have like, uh, not a Pokemon card because copyright. Uh, but um, like some specific type of card with it as well. So it'll be fun. It'll be, it'll be really fun. I'm very excited about it. This flavor tastes literally just like bubble tea. And this is my favorite type of bubble tea. You know, it's like my it's my favorite. So I'm, I'm excited. I love that you just bought that. Wait, did you have you drank it? Yeah, we're going to have an ice shaker with it as well. We're going to have an ice shaker. Um, and the bundle is actually going to be a real bundle. It's not going to be where you just buy them both in the same price. It's going to be a bundle that you probably save like 10 bucks. Uh, if you get this plus that ice shaker. Yeah, I know the prices of ice shakers though. Uh, and then we're gonna try and do a card But I'm hoping to have that Have a stable income to something YouTube. Oh, yeah, it's 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 cool. It's really cool. We're hoping to have that um, By as early as Does events have ones meant with milk you can have this with milk and with water. I've had it with both <laughs> It will be an exclusive drop that I'm hoping to have it by the end of next week. That's the that's the earliest, but if not, it'll be like around March 8th. And then if it's end of next week, it'll be a Friday to Pokemon Day drop. Oh, that's 100% fair. I'm, I'm mainly into hydration grape. This is just the only cap. If I had to drink caffeine, this is the only one I would drink. Well, the main one I, I do actually drink. But even though most of their caffeinated, if not all of them are really, really, really good. But yeah. Yeah, their stuff is... I'm sorry, I just wanted to mention that because I was actually... The Moomoo Moo Milk is an actual thing. So, actually, when I first call, got in call with Advanced GG, I told them, yo, I want to take over the Taro uh, bubble tea because I like it. And uh, I would like to call it Moomoo Moo Milk. But, yeah, I'll let you guys know. I'll be screaming a lot. Is that pre-workout? It's energy. You could use it as pre-workout, but it's not dedicated pre-workout. That is something we're working on, though, for an actual pre Poke game pre-workout, hopefully later this year. Fingers crossed. We'll see what happens though. But yeah, you can. It's caffeinated, so you can. It's energy, so you can use it if you wanted to. Has vitamins and stuff too. Their flavors are really good though. But 18 plus caffeinated stuff. 18 always, always. I'm a big fan. I'm a big advocate of hydration. That's why my flavor is hydration. But yeah, when's the injury? <laughs> Surgery. Hey, no worries. Quick to watch this video. Just push, 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 ban if it can't terrestrialize. Uh, we just didn't want to allow it this time. Um, That's basically it. We just didn't want to allow it. It was voted on in the call, and we just voted on without it. You know, it has it has done its work here. Um, he does end up going out into the Greninja, which is is totally fine. This thing attacking us is going to end up uh, taking a little bit more life orb recoil, so he's going to he be can, just that much weaker for an end game sweep. You know, with uh, with gouging fire, just being able to pick things off, maybe with walking wake, something like that. He lines. can just so sack this. Yeah, he doesn't have to. He, you know, misses a hydro pump here. Uh, he does not go straight for the Protean hydro pump. So, Mammoth Swine, you deserve a good rest. Thank you for. But setting up, the, the foundation for a phenomenal game here. Uh, Gren's sitting at roughly I'm about 80% like here. I know that we are faster with the walking wake. Um, I don't want to take a um, I don't want to take a, a hydro pump in the sun here, so <laughs> right. I'm going to go on ahead, or I don't want to take a hydro pump in the rain here. You can do this, so and you can just double. To get the sun up. Um, and at this point, I'm going to hard, hey, hard, is hard Yep, yep, very wake. beautiful um, double. Hydro pump. Very beautiful double. That's a cover work for two people. Damn, do you think? Is Energy Line Sugar uh, free like hydration? Um, it's the same thing, like whatever, the supplement that they have for it, but it's caffeinated. But yes, it, it's the same, like sugar free. It's just, it's, it's, a, it's not a supplement, excuse me. It's, um. And the sun is still doing about 60 to 70 from Life Orb Protein Greninja. I forgot what's And I do want to keep my sunset around. We are rocking the sunny day. It's not sugar, fire it's as well. Um, so I do have that alternate opportunity to set that up if I do need to, but I'd rather keep those, those Pokemon that can set up the sun around just a little bit longer. So, uh, Walking Wake just being able to take that Hydro Pump really, really well. And because we are Scarf, we'll also I get the Protosynthesis the name boost the for a special attack. We'll be able to do some great damage in return if we choose to. This is a, there comes the Protosynthesis. This is a beautiful, this is a beautiful, 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 beautiful double. On um, just get HD switch so he can rock. He has a switch, but he just doesn't want to play in draft. Uh, this is a beautiful double though by Chase. I love this because it deals with U-turn, deals with rock slide. Yeah, it's a sub. It's a sub. It's a substitute. Thank you. I don't know. Remember substitute. Thank you, fam. Um, 
And Walking Wake just two KOs everything now at Hydra Steam. Boost, uh, and I did say in the team builder that really between the Scarf and the Protosynthesis boost, Beautiful. makes it a little bit hard to kind of prep for what is this Pokemon do. Um, I don't think he wants to stay in. I don't think he wants to keep tossing this off. Uh, so I am just going to go for a flip turn here. Try to get a little bit offensive offensive momentum in my favor. Huh. Um, I think we've done a really good job. I guess job he's of trying to predict the pedal to the metal so far this game with the with Lunacolo the with Mammal Swine with switching into Walking Wake, and I don't want to lose that momentum. I want to keep I want to keep Chocolate King on the back foot just a little bit here. So I want to flip turn because I think now that the Weather War has been won, this is a great opportunity to just bring in Gouging Fire and do Gouging Fire things. Just hit things really hard it in did. the sun with that boost. Uh, good, we see that he does call. switch out from the Greninja He's gonna go Lunacolo, into Ludi yep. Leo, of course. Shout out Leo. Uh, he does go out into the Ludi Leo here, which is pretty pretty good switch, quite honestly. That flip turn yeah. is gonna do absolutely negative damage four times resisted. Um, but we will be able to really set up in front of this thing with Gouging Fire. He can't do too much to us if he is Terra Fairy. He'll be doing when it comes out, Chandler. Turns. I'll be playing um, it. Any water moves are, are neutral as well. I've, I've played neutral, the uh, so the early builds. I'd have to be like a it's fun Terra Poison Terra Blast to, to re I mean, even that like it just is not doing not doing too much to us. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to go for a Dragon Dance. I love the set. There's not too much to think about here, especially now that the Weather War has been won. Now, one thing to consider is that Chuckle King did bring Manual Rain on this thing, uh, week one against Kyle A. So, like, we are bringing Manual Sun on Gouging Fire. That could be a possibility. But he wouldn't go for it here though. Just start setting up in front of this thing to make sure that we can't take. He couldn't go for it here. He has to go for it in front of that because he just die. What is the bazaar? Uh, it's Temple Storm's game coming out. Some hits if we do want to, if he does go for, you know, if he does reveal like a Terra Water Rain Dance here, um, just being able to start to set up and, and try to get a little bit of speed momentum on our on our side oh, is, AV. is really where I want to go with that. We can see that he withdraws and he's going to go out into Jason Kelsey. And fun fact, I just found out who the Kelsey brothers were like a few weeks ago. Shout out to Taylor Swift. Uh, but Dragon Dancing in front of this thing is going to put us <laughs> in a pretty favorable spot because uh, the sun is up, the Protosynthesis boost is up, the attack is up. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Bro, that's so disrespectful. But it's it's not disrespectful, but it's just hilarious. It's actually just hilarious. I can't I can't expect everybody to know it. This is just that's like the funniest line I think I've heard in one of these videos. I love that. I love that call out. <laughs> Even a heatproof bronzong is is not going to appreciate any sort of attack that we want to go for here. So I'm just yeah, going to go ahead and play Blitz. We're just going to start doing gouging fire things. We are going to gouge the fire here uh, and really see what go this bronze on the fire. Gouging fire is going to go for the flare blitz, and we are Oof. going to knock out the bronze on completely from full. I uh, don't know if it was heat proof or not after the fact, um, but he is going to get a good amount of recoil on us. Uh, flare blitz going for going for flare blitz over heat crash was the play this week. Um, I wanted to make sure that we do just the most possible damage at plus one. Um, heat crash doing a lot of damage to a lot of his Pokemon, but the biggest concern was the Nexus. Excalibur being able to take advantage of of heat a heat crash. Yeah. Set. Um, if he knew we were running blitz only fire smacks. coverage there, um, heat crash we did need to boost a bit more in order to knock out the back Excalibur than we do with the uh, then with flare blitz we are able to just hit a lot. This of This just gets kill the so kill. Brings in the Hatterene, and I think at this point it is going to be a game of trying to wear down you know stall out sun turns. I do have to. At this point, um, you know, I assume he's playing that. We have to stall the sun turns, get as much recoil damage as we can on this thing as this well. So he's going to go on ahead and let the Hatterene go down to a player. Crazy. Runs. Gouging Fire picking up two KOs thus far. We're looking pretty good 5 3 right now. He has the um, Ludicolo in the back. He still has the Greninja, I believe, and he's got the back Scalibur as well here. Um, and we're looking in a pretty, pretty commanding spot, if I had to say so. He's going to go back into the Ludi Leo, and I don't think at this point that this Pokemon does have manual rain, quite honestly. Um, we are running too bad, fairly okay on Sun Turns. Um, I want to make sure that we put ourselves in a good enough position afterwards to um, smart speed. Um, you know, again. is manual rain. I want to go ahead and go for that right now. Just to make sure if this is the opportunity it takes to go for that manual rain, the next turn we'll be able to still out in the rain and get our sunny day off in front of it and continue to set up. It is Terra Fairy. He doesn't really use Terra Fairy on this thing, so he is going to be immune to any sort of dragon type moves that we do have. Terra Bless is going to be a neutral hit on us. Um, any water or ice moves that he has is going to are going to be neutral hits as well. So puts us still in a pretty favorable position. We're at plus two. He goes for the ice beam. Uh, at this point, we are uh, risking some freezes. I believe Flare nah. Blitz will always thaw us out, but uh, with the sun up, we are going to be able to go for the morning yeah. sun and get nice. Uh, so in, in the sun, you can't freeze. Also, Flare Blitz is one of the moves that will always thaw. Full and healthy back up here. Which oh my god, see. back to full is crazy. Go for another DD. 25% or so, so uh, we're in a pretty in a pretty fair spot here. I want to see how many more turns of sun left. This is our last turn of sun, so I want to make sure that we have a fresh amount of sun to take on the remainder of the team. Um, we are at plus two, so if it is maybe a defensive back Scalibur set or something along those lines, um, the Flare Blitz, it is a roll to knock that out, and I want to make sure that we are, especially coming after three losses, I want to make sure that we're keeping up as much differential as possible. Yeah, so, he needs to. Uh, I'll go for another Morning Sun just to get back up to fold. Still doing about 25%. The Protosynthesis wears off. Um, I'll go for the Sunny Day here. Sunny Day into a Morning Sun just to keep our health up as Yeah, as and that's all he needs. He gets the attack uh, raise and it's just over. favorable position that we can here. We'll get our attack boost up. Goes for the Ice Beam again. Puts us at right around half, um, depending on any sort of uh, damage rolls, depending on any sort of priority I mean, this, have, is, this um, is literally the best play, and then you just Flare Blitz, Flare Blitz, Flare Blitz. This is crazy. stalling That's not. I don't like that. I think you know. If you're going to lose, you just lose. So um, just to provide some insight there, we do go for the Flare Blitz, plus two in the sun, and Protosynthesis Booster. Yeah, and then he has two turns. Well. He has enough uh, turns left to kill Very beautiful. Uh, and the back Scalibur as well. So it's looking to be a pretty, pretty solid Gouging Fire Sweep. Um, 
moving forward into goes down to Flaky John. This is this is the big threat that I was worried about, just making sure we have enough firepower to to knock out here. I'm not gonna think. Uh, I'm just going to click Flare Blitz over and over again. Uh, the Greninja is going to come in Beautiful. shortly after this, well and that is going to be game. So uh, this big, is so big, 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 big powerful uh, 5-0 victory here for the Detroit Steelings going into Week Four. Um, I really a, did want to turn. This is, this is Chase's first win, and it's a. I mean, Chuck was a great player, and it was a huge win. Round, you know, the first few weeks were a little, little dicey. Um, you know, we had a very close match week one. We had a very yeah. close match week two. Uh, week three, we got, we got kind of boogied over due to a, a misplay on, on my end here. Um, but we are able to finish things off here. Gouging Fire picking up five kills. Uh, just trying to turn the season around Huge. overall. Just put the team on Gouging Fire's back is really what we are here to do. Uh, able to live on a little bit of recoil there. So that is gonna be game. GG's to my man Shuckle King. Gouging Fire crazy. In the description, and I will see you guys all next week. That was great. That was really, really, really good. And now we'll watch Shuckle. I mean Shuckle. Shady versus Hayden. That was really, 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 really good. That was good. I'm telling you, Chase, that's a very scary team. Let's get it. League battles create some of the most strategic and intense battles you'll ever see. Your New York Yankees are one and two. And week four has us up against Pokemon battling veteran Hayden and their team, the Colorado Rapid Spins. Now, Hayden and I have shared the Pokemon battlefield quite a lot back Ooh. in X and Y days. That's like nine years ago. And today Appreciate we'll see you, you come out on top in Shuckle Premier League. If you'd like to see our full video breakdown, yes, then you can check the description right? for Maybe. the link. But for now, let's get to battling. Here we go. We're hopping in. Let's see a team preview of what he has. We see Bear Tick. Did a team Ooh, so no a Jolteon. A Bear Tick, Gliscor. Let's look a bit, a little bit about it. You got the normal gem, fake out, Sneasler. Always something to check. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, Chase's team is scary anyway. I think that Mon can do crazy stuff every week. I literally think it could run the same set every week. Mm. Troy Scarf Azov, very, very good here. As I said, I helped. I, I, I looked over Shady sets. Hayden looked over Envy sets. And they or Envy looked over Hayden sets. I'm very excited about this. Uh, this back and forth. Um, yeah, I like Scarf Azov a lot. U turns and knockoffs are very strong. Sneezer looks good. Serena is Terra Fight. Looks very strong here with Triple Axel. So I'm I'm hyped. Let's get into it. Bear Tick looks super strong though. Sylveon, Darkrai, and Slowbro. Oh, this is gonna be a tough. This is gonna be chilly reception, Bear Tick, man. Okay, Grimstone is gonna be really important in general then. Going for um party shot. Really hoping it's not Terra Dark. That would be insane. Check out Hayden as well. Shady as well. Throw caution to the wind here. And I'm going to lead Sylvain, hoping that he leads Gliscor. Is that smart? He might also just lead Slowbro though. You know what? Maybe I lead. Maybe I do just lead Talus. Maybe I lead our Grimmsnarl, and we just feel fine with that. Mm. I think I do. I'm gonna lead my Grimmsnarl here. I, yeah, dude, the Kooja's gonna be so tough for this team to break through, I'm not gonna lie. We'll see how it goes. Hayden is a legendary battler. Uh, this is not going to be easy. Uh, fastest thing on his team is the Dark- uh, it, it becomes a Terra Captain again next week, Glenn. We kind of just like said, F it, you can get back Terramons. Uh, so he gets a Megamortar as Terra Captain again next week. Cry. Uh, nice out. beard, how did you know? Oh, you're looking at Shadies. Side of Darkrai. Shamir and Azelf outspeed everything. Ooh, look at the little, little uh, And then Landers gets outspeed by Gliscor, but that's it. Little so pop Lando up, I love it, I love it. This. We're gonna see Scribbins here, which is hash, Blizz is, ah, oh, what, you led with this thing? I think I'm gonna semi-freely parting shot. Yeah, is really good, me. I'm gonna semi-freely parting shot, and Sylveon's really strong as my team. <sighs> Let's see, uh, Shamir is gonna be very good. Shamir is gonna be strong. Uh, but we're gonna parting shot. Bring him down by minus one, minus one. And this could just be a pretty big special attack. I think the best thing for me to do is to go out into my special wall. Most likely going to go out into the Rotom here. Because uh, Shamir, uh, that thing does get psychic, and that's kind of scary. So we okay. could also go out into Marianne, which is Marianne once Dark Rise gone, can click this the power over and over again. Uh, I think the best thing for me to do is to go into our special wall and just go right into Rotom. We didn't see the Glass release, so he's not going for Spikes Frame 1, which means he might not have them. We're going to see Hyper Voice minus 1. Ooh, Specs. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to that. That is insane. That is uh, super that is insane damage. Sylveon, that might be choice. You get a, you yeah, get a, you get a beautiful pain split. Maybe choice backs, and the only immunity he has is going to be the Glide Score. I would, I wonder if he'd risk the Will O Wisp here. I don't think he would. So I think that I should be able to Volt Switch. I think we can Volt Switch here. There's no, I don't think Glide Score comes in. I'm literally going to have a like pain on my desktop. Sylveon specs. I get keeping a momentum. I kind of like pain split there, though. Hey, might be right. Huge damage, though. The minus one let Caspar actually eat it pretty well. Um, it was, it was, it was way more than I wanted to be. Wow, he didn't switch. Oh my gosh. Who's it going to? All right. That's a huge deal for me. Let's see, Serena minus one. So that's a big thing, right? You want to also make. He you doesn't have any. You want to also make plays that take advantage of what your opponent could do. Like, what if he stayed in there? So what Shady should have done that turn was just click Thunder Wave. Doesn't matter if Glasgow comes in. Um, Glasgow should never come in on Rotom anyway. But he should click Thunder Wave, tank the Hyper Voice, and then Pain Split it back to get a bunch of health. Because at least now, if he Volt switches, he at least has damage on Serena, uh, or to me on Sylveon to help out like Grim Snarl, Azov, etc. So that was a slight, you know, over. He, he, uh, he just predicted wrong there. Or made the wrong play, rather.
of his Intimidators, right? No Gyarados, no hit him on top. I could go out into Serena here. It's honestly probably my only play. Oh, you know, see how Shamir would take it. Sneasler, minus one, Hyper Voice does way too much. Okay, I, I, unfortunately, I have to go into Serena. I have to go into Serena. Wow, I cannot believe you did that with T-Wave so hard. We're gonna see our voice again. Jeez, man. That's so much. This music great. Serena, you brought me down to 175. You know, that's only 39%. You might not be Specs. No, he's definitely Specs. Definitely Specs. Okay. It was just min damage. Okay, okay, okay. So I could Rapid Spin here, which would actually... Let me, let me see how much a Petal Blizzard does. Petal Blizzard does 70% max, Rapid Spin yeah. 26. The combination of that will take you out uh, as what, from what I'm seeing, so I'm gonna Rapid Spin here. This is really early, but since he has no Intimidators, I can be the fastest thing and do so much damage. The only thing that really is gonna stop me, I'm looking at it, is gonna be that Slowbro. That Slowbro's gonna do a ton of damage to me. So this might be too early. Perhaps I should have just gone uh, out again. No, he's gonna withdraw. Okay, so we get a Rapid Spin also. We're gonna get fast. This might be Slowbro immediately. Gudra, actually. Gudra. Okay, Gudra I'm kind of okay with. Gudra is not a Tyra Captain, right? The that does no damage at all. That does no damage at all. Uh, high jump kick. If I go Terra Fighting, should go okay, and it does. And you know what? He doesn't have a Ghost type, right? No Ghost type. Uh, any Ghost Terras? I gotta check his. I gotta check his draft. Uh, Bear is the only Terra no Ghost. Okay, I'm just gonna go high jump kick. If I can get a KO here, I'm, I, I'll be. I'll be over the. Moon. Is he gonna get the KO? Oh, this, this underneath me. Oh my God, he's gonna get the KO. If this protect, I will scream. But we didn't see Lefty, so I really think it's just gonna be a salt vest. Oh my this God. Is exactly this why is exactly why I, I swapped my Terra Captains was for this exact moment this against Gudra with Terra Fighting. Bro. Please land the high jump kick. Okay, we connected. Oh is my it God. enough? Is 114 it, in the count. Unless he's defensive. Oh, he is, buddy. Acid armors. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, even with acid armor, that's plus two. Do not okay, pedal blizzard. Do, blizzard. Don't, don't you dare freaking pedal blizzard. You know its ability. Don't you dare pedal blizzard. Don't pedal blizzard. Do not pedal blizzard. Look at its abilities. Ooh, that was really tricky event. So we go triple axle here. Yes. We go triple axle here. Side jump kick. <sighs> Like, KO us if we miss. This will just not get the KO. So we get the KO. I do reveal triple axel. I don't care. I don't care. Damn. All right. Gudra goes down. Now, the good news is he really can't go out into the Dark Rye here. All right. He cannot go into Dark Rye. Uh, why is it Power Whip? Because Petal Blizzard has 100 accuracy and it's stronger than Seed Bomb. Wouldn't High Jump Kick be better there? <laughs> I mean, nobody. I didn't expect the first one to not kill. I'll be honest, Sirloin. Oh, okay. He can only go into Slow Bro. We're going to see Brian. Brian's going to be just Okay, Slow King is here, and I do not have I do not have what I need here. Triple Axe will do 44%. Um, I'm currently at 175, which means 61, which means uh, he doesn't have anything to take me out. Well, actually, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Psychic will take me out. Psychic definitely would take me out. So I think that going to Talos is pretty free. I'm going to preserve this arena here. Because it does not get, Odyssey, it, does not get it doesn't take me out, but it is a 2 KO. It's not a 2 KO. Dude, I think he slept. Does, does he feel he like he has, he has enough pressure to make a play? I think there's a really good chance he just chilly receptions. And we can just get 40% of this thing, but this thing does have regenerator, so that would be pointless, honestly. I'm just, I'm going to predict the Psychic type move. I, I, think, I think he might be under pressure here. Ooh. On the back with a plus one speed that kind of does work against his entire team. You're gonna see psychic noise. Ooh, awesome. That's fine. Good play, that's good play, good so the party chart is super obvious. I'm actually gonna go throw chop here. It does a metric ton to this Pokemon. It does a metric ton to a lot of things on his team. Obviously not the Sylveon, but turning off the hyper voice could be clutch. Like this is a pretty sweet spot to be in. We're gonna see throw chop come through, should do huge damage. Doesn't take him out, but does a ton. Uh, we're gonna see still tell a joke through. with no Semi throw. as expected. Now, that pretty much speaks to me that you will most likely go onto the bear tick. It does start to snow. Regenerator's gonna proc, so it's gonna be a little <laughs> right now. Can I mark that somewhere? I'm gonna mark it here. Slow king, probably 60, 60 percent right now. Jorn. Jorn! Yorn. All right, Yorn is here. I have no idea what Beartick likes to do. I'm gonna throw it in the Calc and see. Beartick is a, well, not a range speaker. I'm guessing you get Slush Rush as well, right? Go Beartick, Smogon, so I can have an idea. This is his Terra Captain, so we don't know exactly what type he's gonna be. Yeah, it's Slush Rush or Slowcoat, and it's base 50, so it's not the fastest thing. I still outspeed it, right? That was a, a huge KO, things. man. Uh, primary yeah. Ice, and then we have Ice, Electric, and Ground. We don't know Losing Gudra so early, it was actually big for, like, Azov. What up, Fawaz? How you doing, fam? You're gonna go for it. Uh, for me, this is probably just a party shot. Uh, you are gonna Terra. You can't be Terra Dark, so you won't be immune to this this night. Honestly, I would be a little scared to party shot here because this could literally be clear amulet. Uh, and I don't know what moves you really want. If, if it gets an SD, sword dance, it looks like, and your Terra, Terra Electric. Electric. Terra, okay. So it has Terra Blast. Mm, Terra Electric is a little tough. Terra Electric a little tough. You're gonna be physical. We'll bring you to minus one. Nothing props there. Okay. Uh, I'm I am pretty tempted to just go out into Lando. I want to see how much I would take from an Ice type move. Icicle Crash at minus two would take me out, and I would cry in 3D. Probably go out into... I'm going to turn Blue Whisperer right instead. I think we can go out into Cast Bar, even though it's not physically offensive. We can either do that or go out into Shamir. While the Glide Score's around, though, I really don't want to burn our Fake Out on Burden. But I should outspeed this thing even in the Slush, right? Let's see. Uh, and it is snowing here at 398. You actually do outspeed me. Okay. That's a pretty big problem. Um, I would say that we go into Rotom. Rotom's Appreciate less important. Appreciate you, fam. Thank you so much for the Kyle words. Yeah, Rotom's Rotom good. isn't going to take out the Bear Tick. It does SD. I kind of expected that. I did kind of expect that. I should have gone out into my Lando. Nah, I think this is better because uh, like plus one what, now. Is, what do you do back? Bear tick against Rotom. Your HP pretty pretty mid. If you go, yeah, you don't attack him, you probably stops, do um, so yeah, uh, it would also stop My the Rotom drop. can potentially eat a close combat. So I'm gonna go ahead and volt switch here. We're gonna see Trailblaze. Plus one Trailblaze will not take me out, but that is massive. He is 
He's keeping up offensive momentum. I, I really feel like Pain Split is a little bit stronger there because it helps. Like, you cannot kill this Mon from full. I don't know why he's not Pain Splitting. I mean, when he does Pain Split, he's going to get a lot back. Don't get me wrong. But I, I like the idea of Pain Splitting there because, you know, you basically get... Beartick doesn't have enough to win. I'm with Fake too. Does Double Crash kill Rome? I don't think so. Super fast now. Super, super fast. Really wish I had the Willow, but and it like, could be lumped. You get so much more. I don't want to get lump again, like my game against Seabad. Yeah. But seeing that he's at like 85%, uh, I might have to now go for Unburden immediately. Even though I want to save it, I, I have to go for it now. Uh, the only other option would be going out into, say, Talus and going for the party shot. But that seems like a losing battle. I think we just have to go to the Shamir. I know that Glyphor can come in, but at this point, we have to stop this sweep. Like, this is this is the immediate threat. Now, if he's Terra Cloak, he got me good. If he's Terra Cloak, I, dude, I literally changed oh, the way at the last minute. I really wish I didn't. Then I would have burned the Lum. No, he's not Cloak. I don't have to worry about Fake Out not working. I, I obviously have to play Fake Out here. It doesn't matter if Glassboro wants to come in. Later, Glenn. This, this is the move that stops the, the Jorn sweep. Uh, fake Out comes through. Normal no, Gem. Normal Fox, Gem, so you actually get... Or I probably lose to Ice Cold Crash right now. Okay, we got the flinch. Awesome. So, Dire Claw is 48 to 55. I don't think I can risk that. I think we just have to straight up go for close combat. I'd love to U-turn here. I really, really would. But we are just going to have to CC. I know he swaps in the Glyspore here. I literally know it with every fiber of my being because there's yeah. no reason to throw this thing completely away just yet. The only reason he doesn't swap in the Glyspore, he's probably calculating Dire Claw right now. But he's going to see the Dire Claw does not take him out most likely. Unless I'm adamant, then he might be scared of it. Because if I go Dire Claw and I get a status on the Glyspore before his Poison procs and I put him to sleep, uh, he's going to switch. Good switch yeah, by Aiden. It would have been absolutely insane. <clears throat> uh, but for sure, we're going to see Buff Zubat here. Buff Zubat is Glyspore. going to be. I'm going to put um, Bear Tick, 60%. Yeah, it doesn't do anything to buff Zubat, unfortunately. That's big damage. Um, but like I said, this is where I want Landers to kind of come through. Uh, and I think the best thing we can do, I am going to U-turn, and I mean, he might have protected is what it is. Knowing that Shamir without Normal Gem is going to do, say, 16 to 20, because that might end up being a late... So like, that Fake Out chip is nice too. I, I just really, I really would have liked the Pain Split because Scarf Azelf would have been strong later too. Game strat. Now that we know how crazy that thing is going to be. We might have to rely on fake outs over and over again. Glyscore speed tier. Okay, we do get our U-turn off. Glyscore is base 95, which is ridiculous. Faster than Lando. Uh, if he went speed invest, which I don't think he did. Uh, we could go right into Lando here, uh, praying for spikes. But if he goes for knockoff, it really is a dagger. So I think the actual best a thing dagger. to do is to go into Talus. Because this is this is like a, this is a play that I want to do. I want to go into Talus here. We're going to see Facade. Oh Ooh, my crit. That's, big that's crit. insane. Facade Glyscore. Well, I'm not going to be sent up on you, that's for sure. So we do have Ice Punch. I'm going to have to Calc Ice Punch here. Facade against my Grim Snarl as a crit brought me down to 174. So, so crit kill. did 55%. Okay, so, that, so he's definitely, he's got investment. He looks like a typical set, actually. Pretty defensive. My Ice Punch Another will not dagger. take you out, but it is like the best thing I can do. Let's just see how much a Facade does to Landers when he's at minus two. At minus two, oh, I don't have time. All right, I click Ice Punch. I ran out of time. Swords Dance. The SDs Ooh. as an Ice Punch, that's kind of fine. Uh, I'm going to go, SD, SD is crazy. I would like a crit back. I don't need it because I'm invested, baby! Oh, invested. Ooh, that's a big that was, KO! That was a very scary situation. That's so, if you, if you got bro, Sneasel looks so good now. I mean, he does still have Glow King, but damn. Yeah, I think he sweeps me. I'm so glad Grim just... I'm, I, I, I Literally, the move, it looked like it was, it was potentially a roll. It was 60 to 71. It just depends on what HP he has. He's going for SD. Maybe he's not invested in HP. I really don't know. Uh, that's the thing with these battles, right? Yeah, he's, he's, he's that's big. Um... The party shot here. I think the play here is probably parting shot into sacking off Rotom. Caspar yeah. cannot eat Dark Rise hits anyway, so let's go Dude, out Grim into uh, Rotom. Why did I, I not party shot? I literally part cannot tell you. I guess it could be quick attack. I think he should have party shot it. I, I actually cannot tell you. All right, we're gonna see Draining Kiss here. I, was, I don't know why I didn't party shot. Complete, I was looking at showdown. Clean misplay. Um, I guess I just didn't want Dark Rider to come in, but that, that was not gonna happen. That was not gonna happen. Okay, so Sylveon does take out. Sylveon takes out Rotom. Wash. Might be Rotom Wash's last battle. Here, we now we can't live. We can't like set up with this thing again. So, uh, and we also can't set up with this thing. So we just go out into our Shamir, and uh, I don't click Fake Out. I don't Bro. think. Let's see, Shamir. Again. Physical Landers would have just clicked EQ now. Oof. Against Sylveon, let's say defensive Dire Claw. Ooh, actually, I do have to click Fake Out. Dire Claw does not do enough. I kind of wanted to straight up with U-Turn. I'm not gonna lie, because he nah, really Fake Out. And why would? If, even if a U turns is fine. Like if he goes as a Glow King, you just go as of after. Like you turn out from there. I think it's way better to always Dire Claw here. He let this thing get extra damage on it. There's no reason. I think the U-Turn is really out of left field, but if I click U-Turn and he doesn't switch, who am I sacking off? Am I sacking off Talus? Because that would be the only play. Um, yeah, right, I think Dire Claw. Even though he's look. most likely going out to Slow King. Yeah, but Slow King goes down to Dire Claw plus U-Turn. I'm going Dire Claw. Ooh, he's leaving. Ooh, oh, it lived. And he's this. It that, didn't, a lot, but it's okay. it's that didn't okay. do it hey, that, that didn't do that much. Fine. That's that's big health. Uh, this is still that now. This is a, definitely a dire claw. I'm not gonna think about it. It is it is dire claw every time. Shamir getting weakened though is problematic, right? Because the bear tick does outspeed me in this now, and I have to let it take Shamir out. Especially now that we know he has SD. He is weakened though on bear tick, so we'll see. We're gonna dire claw here. Big KO. Stats I, on the dire claw would have been W. Someday Sneasel will get it. Someday. So this is gonna be slow bro every time, right? Now that I'm no longer in burden though, dark right does outspeed me. It is yeah, Rotom Dark right comes crazy. in. Ah, uh, it is. Skinny likes the Pokemon fan. Okay, this is a little bit of a, this is a little traumatic for sure. I don't think Darkrai takes me out with anything unless it gets Psychic. Psychic. Oh, it does get Psychic. Okay. So Psychic will absolutely take me out, right? 100%. He knows I know this though, and he probably goes, uh,
We're gonna see Psychic Echo down. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I mean, pretty much had to happen, but going into Grimstarl didn't feel like it was gonna do anything. Maybe I had more time, I would think to double, but it is what it is. Serena's is it at 175, not... goes down to Sludge Bomb. I definitely think I threw. I'm gonna go into Marianne. Yeah, the U-turn. I'm gonna Marianne. Okay, there's, there's something I can do. There's something I can do. I can click U-turn. Alright, I, I found I love the I found switch the music as well. Me in the game. Oh my gosh, I'm glad I at least found that, otherwise, you guys are gonna be so mad at me. I click U-turn, it does 42 to 50 percent to this thing. I outspeed the choice. I'm going to Marianne. I'm going to Marianne. Okay, there's there's something I can do. There's something I can do. I can click U-turn. All right, I, I, found, I found the thing that... I saw the star good. They have a shaker part of it, but when it comes to the support creator section, which is ticker, but you are an option. Oh. I'll talk to them about it, Joshua. I appreciate it. At least keeps me in the game. Oh my gosh, I'm glad I at least found that. Otherwise, you guys are going to be so mad at me. I click U-turn. It does 42 to 50% to this thing. I outspeed unless he's choice card. Then he's choice card. He's switching. So it's like a win-win. I would love it if he clicks Dark Pulse, actually. Uh, we're gonna go first. I'm revealing that I'm Big starved. It's fine. Turn. I really should have saved Shamir, man. Oh, that's fine. He I has a uh, dazzling and then as well. thing would have been gone. Okay, Dar I, I think the Dark Pulse is coming through. Let's go into Talus. Dark Pulse comes through. I eat this, obviously. Okay. We'll learn about Sludge Bomb right here, though. And I click Play Rough every time. I think that a Zelf can clean up the rest of the game. If it can survive a hit from Bear Tick. I kind of see, I see the path. It's gonna involve me sacking every other piece of this team. Does he not have Sludge Bomb? I see the path that might lead to victory if I don't mi miss Mystical Power at some point. Okay, Brick Break. Oh, it's Brick Break just in case he screams. Oh, wait! That's massive! Dark Ride goes down! That's a oh big my KO. Gosh. That's a big KO. Uh, listen, I actually completely rate that play. This is why Grimstone is amazing, though. It forced the Brick Break, so I couldn't set up a reflect. It, that really is insane. I don't parting shot Slowking no matter what. I definitely go throw a chop, try to get the KO. We see Jorn, so Jorn does come straight out. Okay. So here I do parting shot, and he is. Mm, do I do a parting shot, though? Let's think. Let's not make that, let's not make that play too quickly. He, does def he definitely outspeeds me, and I don't have Sucker Punch. I click, play rough. It looks like I don't take him out. So clicking play rough feels a little pointless. You, you know what? I don't need to win anymore, Serena. I hmm. Well, he has Trailblaze, but he can't do much versus Azelf. Maybe it's better to actually still hit it. But I guess you can... Bluff? Don't need Serena to win anymore. So Something. I am going to Parting Shot into Serena. If he clicks Swords Dance, it's fine. If he clicks Move that KOs Serena, it's also fine. If I get into Landorus while there's no snow, I just click Earth Power twice. All right, that's all I do. Yeah, Serena so makes sense. So we'll go into yeah. Serena here. It's fine. Yup. Ice school crash comes through. I might survive. Definitely I do survive. Love that. Yeah, uh, and I might be faster. Yeah, I, I am faster right now. Triple axel. So he can't really do much. The best thing for me to do then, Pedal Blizzard is going to do the most damage to everything. I almost want to double, but I'm going to Pedal Blizzard. Okay, he does withdraw. I should have doubled. I should have read that. It's okay. It's okay. Let's see. So Sloking should be at 66 ish percent. He definitely should have doubled. This is going to do nothing. Uh, we're going to see Pedal Blizzard. It did a lot. actually zero. Hold up. We know he's going to chili reception. Choke. Okay, so what do I do then? I go into Talus and I do the same thing. No, but then the snow's going to be up. He doesn't He doesn't Oko his elf, right? He doesn't Oko his elf, so I actually go into his elf right now. This is my mm, only chance. I go into his elf yeah, right yeah, now yeah. because he doesn't Oko me. Good play, good play, good play. I still think that this could be chalked. I think that by not doubling right there, like I knew I had to, I might lose. I think he carries just triple axle uh, against Barricade too. The only wrong play, man. It's the only wrong play. It's obviously faster than me. This will burn one extra turn, right? I don't have a move that takes you out. Missile power is my strongest move. It is not strong enough to take you out, however. I am faster. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I just have to not miss. I just have to not miss, and Marianne can take it out. Take the, take the game. Oh, but he probably trailblazes, right? He does trailblaze. I trailblaze can talk to them, Joshua. He's gonna, he's gonna check for that. I don't even know if they right. still have my sticker. That's definitely a dagger. We don't take him out. Psychic may have. Psychic may have. There's a trailblaze. Get faster. Yep. And I think by not having the fake out, we're gonna lose. He's gotta go Icicle Crash here, right? Does it tell me how many turns are left of Snow? Any chance? Well, you can get off Intimidate. Three out of five. So three turns. I need Marianne to. It's actually a 50 50 because you sack Serena here, and then you go Landers to get off Intimidate, and then Azov ends up living. That was more than two daggers. He, he said dagger like twice before then as well. Um, maybe three times. But yeah, sacking Serena and then going Lando after two. Win this. So if I let you take out Serena, I'm at 72. Ice Crash has a chance to miss and has a chance to not KO for what it's worth. We might be okay. All right, I gotta go. To, I think I go into Serena here. I sack off Serena. Definitely a dagger because I had the line of sight to win, but um, lesson learned. Gotta go with the double. The, the risky dagger, double. The dagger. double wasn't even risky. Ice Crash, Crash does connect, take Serena he out. He does SD, so you go Lando now. All right, so there's two turns left. Uh, I actually think, as sad as it is, uh, I have to just go ahead and sack off, um, I don't go into Talus. Maybe you I do. Lando. So here's the thing. I think he's going to recognize what I'm doing, and at some point, he's going to Trailblaze instead. So but I guess you could parting shot into Lando as well, but then he just SDs and gets it back, so. Let's go into Talus here. Uh, I think he just goes for an attack, right? I don't, I don't think he, I don't think he bothers going for Swords Dance, although he knows I want to stall the turns. Two out of five. But I, the big thing is that I can't let him get faster me, so I have to throw chop here. I do throw chop here. Actually, he trailblazes anyway, doesn't he? Yeah, I think he trailblazes anyway. I have to go to Lando. I guess no matter what he's going to. I mean, if I had sucker punch, uh, I'd be good. I don't have sucker I guess what Hayden might try and do is call the parting shot and go for SD because he needs to be strong enough to knock out Azelf. So this this play makes sense, parting shot. I would I just would have let Landorus, like, immediately. 
the punch. I, I was, I was, that was only a consideration early on. So this was just really good prep by Hayden and really poor end game by me. That double switch was everything, man. I hate that I called it. I mean, I called it, but then I didn't like. I should have followed the thought process and said, what would happen if I double here? What's the worst case scenario? I double. He hits Marianne. He doesn't know me. That's fine. And that's when I should have done it. He does SD. That was the only hope I had. That was the only hope I had is that he SD instead of going for Trailblaze. Nah, that was a. <sighs> SD on Hayden's part makes sense. You've seen every single one of Grimmsnarl's move, right? You see Ice Punch, Throw Chop, Play Rough, and Parting Shot. So you're expecting Grimmsnarl to Parting Shot into Landorus. Uh, so if you Icicle Crash into Landorus, at that point you're minus two. I don't even know if you kill Landorus at minus two. But more importantly, Azov comes out after and knocks you out. And then you lose the game to Grimmsnarl. Man, what a mind game. What an absolute damn, mind this game. Grimmsnarl went stupid and my this round game. two overall gets four KOs today. Well, I shouldn't say that. I don't know if I take out Sloking. I don't know if I take out Brian. I don't take out Brian. So never mind. I get three KOs, but this is still amazing. Uh, do I want to fight for the differential? I definitely don't. Let's just go for the throat chop. Uh, slow key yeah, it was takes out Grim Snarl. If I got in a crit. The reason I don't think it could it was a 50-50, well, he could have just avoided it by just going hard Landers. If he just goes um instead of going Grim Snarl, if he just goes Landers and gets off the intimidate, it's minus one. It doesn't kill Azelf. You kill Beartick. You do have to worry about being flinched, but if you're not flinched, you kill Beartick, and then you get the damage off on Slow King to win the game with Lander uh with uh, Grim Snarl's throat chop. We'd be talking. We would be talking a little bit, but I did not get the crit. This was one heck of a battle. The mind game right there. I think if he goes for Trailblaze, then he's faster than Marianne, even when. Oh, actually, maybe you're not faster than Marianne, Scarf. You're not. Yeah, so it wouldn't have mattered. Because then you have to go for an ice move against Landers and Marianne speeds up. I think I, I want Sylvain to hit the field. I want Sylvain to hit the field. That was a good game. Let's Sylvain hit the field. Uh, it'll do something for maybe, once, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. And then we will go Earth Power and let Landers get a KO. Good, great game, guys. Let's come out. Of course, he's tagged in the description. You New York Yankees managed to squeak out a win. We're 2 2 now. Can we just get on a tear, please? Thank you for all your support. I'll see you next week for another game. Him versus MV next, too. Oof. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Parting shot into Lando is. I'm saying that that play can only happen if he goes Grimmsnarl first. So by going Lando first, he's just minus one. He can't set up. Then you can go Azov left, kill him, and then win the game with Grimmsnarl. But it does come down to flinches, I guess, from Ice with Crash, too. It was a good game. It was a good game. Alright, let's watch Uzi. Why is there always a Thunderbolt in Uzi game? Is it five or four wins to make playoffs? Uh, I think four wins is pretty good based on all the records right now. I think four wins will guarantee playoffs and then it'll be some differential from there. But that was good. <clears throat> Let us watch the next game. Thunderclap Titans ended the undefeated streak of the Carolina Hexorts as the most hated Pokemon yep. of all time proved why he is number one. Tragical. You love me now, son? F you, dad. Jesus With this, Christ. We now move on to what is considered as the strongest team in the SVL season, Playmore Esports. With so many threats on both sides, you would think that this is the match to decide who is the strongest of them all. However, this means far more than just that. When Playmore Esports began last year, it took the whole Draft League community by storm. Three amazing people with so much chemistry, creating something new and different as they told their story throughout the season. Not only did their style make me excited <laughs> for whatever was next from them, it inspired me. It inspired me to not just evolve, but find my own style. Without them, I think it's safe to say that you would not be seeing the storyteller that's in front of you now. It's honestly a big part of why I love Draft League so much now. New ideas, new presentation, and it's only gonna get better from here. So this match is something that I'm very much looking forward to. Is what I would say if my opponent didn't commit the ultimate sin. He shaved his goatee. He took a razor and left his chin as barren as oh Wish Killer's God. daily life. As a no. fellow beard enthusiast, that's a wish killer throwback. It's a sacrilege that I simply cannot ignore. So Ben, I hope you are ready for what's coming, because you, just like everyone else, will know that Uni's the boss. Ah, what are you doing here? <laughs> Starting. <laughs> that was funny. You know why Uzi's actually mad there? It's because Uzi can't grow um, a full beard. Move on to the game. Like Uzi can only grow, like, goatee and under his neck. It's a very sad, very, very sad um, fact about Uzi. And uh, so when somebody shaves their hair, it really just, it, it just, it really hurts him.
physically. So it's all right, Uzi. I know one day, one day you'll have hair here. One day. And one day it will connect here. A guy like me, though, shaves on the daily. But y'all wouldn't know about, y'all wouldn't know about that. Actually shaves on the daily. Actually, I haven't shaved today. <laughs> Providing the Uzi Chintro. I think he just trimmed Uzi. No respectful beard enthusiasts will do that to themselves. I'm going to shave before I go to MV's place, though. <laughs> That's how we do it out here. We always shave. We always... Um, we always flex the shave. But for those, my friend Rollo can't grow any hair either on like his face. So Uzi, I feel that with you. Hey guys, we are back right now, ready to go against our guy, the Benaral himself, General Tarheel, who is the coach of Playmore Esports, collaborated by, of course, Pokemon, or my sorry, face. PM7 and Tyler. But let us see if we can continue it our momentum PM7. here. It is PM7, thank you. Ado. Let's see what he brought. Right, so by the looks of this team, he did not bring any hazard removal here, so I do think that it would very much be a merit to set them up ASAP. There's also no Amoongus or any Cyclozar to threaten my Rotom fan out from the get-go because of a knockoff, so I very much think that uh, going into this one, my lead being Rotom fan is very much worth it because it just, let's look at this matchup. It just matched up so well against the vast majority of his squad. So, uh, oh, you went Soft Sand over Choice Ban? Ah, I like Choice Ban more personally, but Soft Sand is good too. Yeah, Uzi's hair is one point though. It is a spoiler. Nice chopper berry, Terra Steel. Ooh, good luck in your upcoming weeks. Help you make playoffs, and it would be cool if you win another league. I'm gonna try my best. Thank you, fam. Last year has been able to Terra for many, many draft leagues. It just hasn't been doing much in any of them. But I absolutely do think that I want to knock out the uh, <clears throat> the Iron Douglas's potential heavy duty boots because honestly speaking, like that just shaving this thing down for my Dragapult is going to come such a massive long way for me. But yeah, with that being said, let I us like see how this match goes. That's Let's see the Sarah Ooh, Ooh, So we're gonna lead off with this Kuzan the uh, Glass Tree like I expected. Ooh, this is nice. I don't think I can unlock this yet because I haven't beaten the game. I want this. Two, as this lead is very much going to work out for me because turn one, <clears throat> while I will definitely be forced to terrestrialize here and now. Don't think that's a bad thing in itself because I do have the Alolan person to cancel out that Sarah Ledge of his. Because uh, he. Okay, no, never mind. He stays in. So he's going to stay in. Oh, he's going to let you whisk? Which is really nice as I'm going to pop Does it rest? here and now. Uh, I'm not sure. That's exactly a what huge the turn. Steel is just super good in this matchup, guys. Like, it's not even funny. But. Yeah, yeah it's a Garchomp uh, answer, too. Let's see exactly what he's going to terrestrialize into here and now. Yep, he's going to Terra as well. As you, good sir, shall terrestrialize into Terra Fairy. Okay. Terra Fairy is definitely a problem, but it's a very good thing that I happen to possess Iron Head on the uh, uh, on my Iron Treads this time around. As Will Wisp is thankfully going to be able to connect, and that is very good for me, honestly. That is very good for me because uh, because a burnt Blast Rie is a very much going to be a triple Blast Rie. As he's going to have to go for a Terra Oof, Blast, that's, that's going a to nothing to that do. That so burn ever. is a nasty yeah, turn uh, one. This is a very this is already a very great way to start this game up. I don't know if because I like Rotom matchup here is really good, guys. Generally, if and, he doesn't have Rest, because he could definitely be Rest. It could be Cur wait Curse Rest actually smokes. I guess it could be Curse Rest. Uh, Jarvis, I'm not sure if that would. Good night, Grape. <clears throat> if it's Curse Rest talk with spikes, that makes sense. Because Terra Blast actually is neutral, is good into Uzi's team. So that could be cool. As right now, say I go for a Volt Switch. Deoxys stay in. I can go out in my Deoxys defense, and then actually knocks, uh, knock somebody's item off. Which yeah. I think is a very worthwhile exchange. Alternatively, I could go out in my Iron Treads and get my rocks up. So, I mean, I don't No, I don't think I don't think you go treads ever on this. I think treads gets in for free later and then you just click earthquake. Oh, it was facade. I don't but still, facade into treads, dragapult. You need uh, you need help on, you know, my my iron treads that much. So, that does yeah, nothing. Is that salt this? That's so funny. That's just that's just but yeah, the, I think the I'm mud. Go my metal face here. Uh this may or may Uzi's, not have been the appropriate You're nasty move, for this play. Think, okay, he's gonna go straight for a close call. That makes sense. But like, that's a 3k on me if you ever saw it. Like, 3, 3k on me. And also, it's important to note that this dude has zero hazard remover. So, I think setting up the rocks is going to be very much worth You're it You're a here. demon. I guess I could have gone in my Deoxys defense for even more safe, uh, safe, you know, like, for an even more safe way of pivoting. Yeah, I probably should have done that, but... I mean, keeping my Deoxys, uh, Deoxys defense Facts, is going to be very crucial for the Iron Valley of this. And also, keeping my Toppleberry on lock with my... Uh, yeah, they're being will be very big. useful. As he's going to go out in his Arlong, which is... That's which Garchomp. Is his, they want his Chomper, but why? Okay, that, that kind of surprises me, if I'm being completely honest. He, I think he has to fear the Yachi Berry. You know what? No, there's no uh, point in me playing so aggressively here now. I could go out in my Nia and I could get a parting shot off. 
potentially. Alternatively, I could just go out in my Rotom fan. Because truthfully, what the hell does this thing even do? To me? No, I'm, I I agree that Ice Heavy is worse than obviously that, but off, like but getting whisk kind of hurts. If there's a safer way of pivoting, I do think that Nia is the best way. How you doing, fam? He's gonna double. He's gonna one into though. Double. Oh, the double. Ooh, the VAP. I'm not sure why that would be our switch in, to be honest. Scouts for Ice Spinner. I, I guess he wanted to scout the Ice Spinner, but even so, like, I guess I would have gone in my Rotom fan there. But in either case, like, hazards are still not on my side of the field. So, you tell me. Uh, I think that's very much worth it. And honestly, I could go for a Thunder Wave here, but why would I risk my Nia getting unnecessary damage, right? Yeah, just 46.6 to 55%, and I kind of need this thing healthy for Yeah, and if my, you get burnt, uh, my spawn could be bad. Healthy. So, I'm actually going to go for a Parting Shot here. Because I'm not exactly sure what he could want to potentially do here, but I think a very safe mid-round play for me would be to go into my Rotom fan. I could go out in my Rotom fan, alternatively, could just go for a Flip I would have loved Fire so, like, or Stall is just so free for him. Yeah, I'm going to go out in my A. See what he wants to do. I think flip turn is very likely here. Yep, he's gonna go for a flip turn. Nice. We'll be freaking do. Yeah. I, mean, I didn't quit Iron Man. I just have other there, projects that, going on. First of all, in Vaporeon coming in on Cell Crocs like that pretty much is guaranteed. Like on prospect. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm doing Emerald Crowd Control. By, uh, by a soft sand earthquake. So that I feel is such a huge merit in this match. Right. So. <laughs> if Iron Scarf, that's fire. Go out, in your, uh, go out into your Iron Valiant, please. Go out into your Valiant and see what happens. Thank you so much. You know, you want to. I'm sorry. But the other good thing about Terra Steel here is that he yeah, won't that be, able be to, crazy. You know, uh, just die. Like Hyper Hurricaning with his Jugulus is going to be uh, not much of a free play here because he's gonna have to worry about that. Kuzan, oh my god! So. But now he's gonna go into Kuzan, uh, which would have to be his Glass Tree. As he's going to get burnt, take some nice chip. As right now, what I'm gonna do is essentially click Volt Switch here. Go Izzy. Yep, Volt Switch. I'm gonna go out into my Deoxys Defense, and then I'm going to teleport. Or potentially click Knockoff. No now, one's try Phalanx. Knockoff. Maybe I'll Maybe, try. It. Actually, no, not yet. There's no reason for me to do that because he does not have any Steel Dags here. So, Don, the Don is going to have to come out here and now. And Those what is he going to go for? Is the question. Ooh, I'm floating. Look at me floating. Ooh, Deoxys, looks so, Ooh. Deoxys looks so sick. Deoxys looks so sick floating. It. Yeah, I kind of don't want this thing to get too KO'd. I mean, uh, to get wrecked by the Iron Ball. Oh, wow, Joshua. So, I'm actually going to click recover here. But, like, me chipping, his, uh, me chipping this horse down is super, super valuable. No, here. I agree, Fairy Electric are great, but yeah, I see, love He's going to swap out here. And that is fine at all because. He's gonna go on his Orochi, which would, which is, I assume, his Iron Hugulus, right? Mm -hmm. He's gonna take some blocks. Okay, this is gonna make the match ten times easier for me. This is gonna make the match much easier for me because, with because the one of the main things problems that I had in Mox was chipping down, uh, chipping this thing down, and keeping this, uh, keeping this in range. So, I mean, he's gonna click Hurricane. Uh, do I make that play though? Is a question. I think so. As long as I keep my Rotom, uh, Rotom alive. So this, what uh, causes the floating animations is li uh, bringing out like a levitator and then going to another Mon. That's also why Pokemon look up in the air and stuff like that too. Iron Valiant won't be that much of a problem to me. You know what? I'm going to teleport. I'm calling your ass out. Never mind. Whoops. Oh shit. Okay. Jeez. Is that yeah, specs? No, he's not going to flip me. But he is going to still be able to get an insane amount of damage. That's me, big though, for, uh, and for much Val. What Shady Penguin would say himself, a dagger. But no. A that, dagger, that was indeed. Not the I should have done. But in either case. This mon goes stupid playoff. here. Guys, what the hell does this thing exactly do against me? What does he even switch into this? Yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah, that he was didn't such bring a on my behalf. I should have done that for sure. But he's gonna go out into Vaporeon, but he's gonna take Stealth Rock's damage. And Play Rock, I would, I believe, is a 2-a-k on this thing. Yeah. Oh my you, god! You're dying, sir. You're dying tonight. The unfortunate thing is I can't click Aqua Jet. I don't think I can. Uh, I don't think uh, clicking Aqua Jet is on, is on the table for yours truly. So if he gets a burn here, that would actually be marginally annoying. So I'm actually gonna go out in my Ocelot, and I'm gonna get my kill with a U-turn. Fair. I Seems like that. Like a safe enough play, because even if you burn me, I can't say I, would get, I can't say I give much of a damn about that. Because I found. Oh, he's gonna click Wish. Ooh. Okay, so the play is gonna actually work out for him. Regrettably. And Infiltrator unfortunately does not go through protect. As much as I would as much as much as I would love Oh my god. So it's Scarf Vaporeon with Wish, and if Uzi doubles to Rotom, which is a good play on Vaporeon, Vaporeon actually gets back its health. That's actually so funny. For that to be a reality. By the way, how much that Spear Up did. I do think that you won't survive. Gee, I make yeah, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I can tell it's just uh, I guess I definitely overpredicted there, but like I still do don't think that uh, that I made the worst play here. I don't think That's I made the worst actually play by any so means funny. It just looks like a standard thing, report. Uh, like, I very much can't risk my Azumarill getting burned because I don't have the facade. He's gonna swap out though. Into those, is a question. Into his Kuzan. Ooh, okay. What would I have done? I would. I would have doubled as well. Yeah, that, uh, that's definitely a dagger. Bruh. I also would have doubled Izzy into Rotom. I would have did the same play. I'm blaming you for this. <laughs> Why are you saying dagger, Uzi? <laughs> All right. Uh, jokes aside, I think right now what I should do. Is click Volt Switch. Yeah, you don't want to break I your mean, chopple. I say that as if it's. Uh, I say that as if I have much of a fall in the matter. But uh, we watched three so far. We got like this one and two I, more I left. Engaging. But there's still, of course, an upside in the fact that his Vaporeon is going to die now. The next time it comes in, so it's still. It's like it's by no means the worst thing in the world, you know. Iron Treasure looks really good here too. Definitely not the worst thing in the world. So I'm gonna go in my Nia, as while it would suck to take any form of damage here. I'm gonna click Facade. Whoops, makes sense. But Fur Coat is definitely gonna come, come through here. 
Her code is definitely gonna uh, be rather crucial in this in this point at this point in the juncture. So here I'm just gonna click uh, parting shot again. See exactly what is his what his reaction to that is. And he is going to go out into his Shira Hoshi, which would have to be his act Vaporeon. Makes nice. Sense. Get some, let sense. him get some Jug or Val for free. Uh, with his Vaporeon dying, Val looks super strong too. If, it, if it's SD, uh, it looks nasty. Still a net positive. As right now, I assume he would potentially nice. like to go out into who is the question. The, the, the thing that's not making me lose hope, guys, is the fact that I still have my Dragapult healthy for his setup in Valiant. Now, yep. if he has Shadow Sneak, that could actually be a bit worrisome. But no, he's going to go out into Orochi. Makes sense. And he's going to take another round of Stealth Rocks, which is something we absolutely love to see. But here, I think I have no other play other than going out into my Vaporeon. Mm -hmm. I'm Vaporeon. It's my Azumarill. As here, what he's going to click, though, is a question. I think he should play Hurricane. Yep, he's gonna play Hurricane. He's gonna be able to hit it. As yeah, ooh, that's what I'm saying. Uzi, that's, nah, when nah, you nah, do nah. that much through Deoxys, that super specs. So this definitely messed you up a little bit here. I think sacking Deoxys would have been a little bit better. Because I don't think it get any opportunity to recover. That's very well played on, on his BF. That's definitely specs. Yeah, because like Hurricane would not have done the amount of damage it did. 50 to 60.2. Do I let my uh, this thing go down? I don't wanna. Yeah, I don't think I wanna do that yet. Yeah, I mean, gone. I guess yeah, the, uh, if Deoxys dodges yeah, too. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I play that the best. Because me... Like, letting my Addison come back in was very, like, safely was definitely the... Nah, um, Mons are actually separate. So, like, you could technically draft, um, like, Persian, Alolan Persian, etc. You could draft both of them, but they're not... You don't get all of them in one. Yeah, More makes importantly, sense, I think. But yeah, he's gonna be able to click Hurricane. He's gonna be able to knock me out, which is mighty unfortunate. Ogre Ponds are all separate, too. It's still not the worst thing in the world. It's A, I can go out in my Ocelot here and potentially trend this thing out. You know? With a Draco. Right. So, I definitely didn't play this exchange the best. I think, uh, after how... <laughs> Yo, Draco's so bad here, too, because he has the Assault Vest Fairy and a regular Fairy. Probably what my Deoxys was. Sacking this thing off was probably the best play here. But me finding out that your choice... That's what I'm saying. So, get, get, get regular but, Samurai for, like, four points and then get the Sumo Samurai bonus. Ooh, that'd be nasty. Here, I would assume that you'd, you'd want to go out in your Glass Rieti. So, I'm actually going to click U-turn. Yeah, Bastion and Oratorio, Rieti, correct. I can actually get, uh, get, myself, uh, get, get myself more ahead in the sense that... First of all, if Orochi decides to come no, in, I get, I get every full of Basculin. We, will we draft, we made Basculin be every single one. So, there's that. We're obviously, like, it's obviously, you know, not the worst case scenario yet, guys, but I drop it's, definitely, a Kinatera, no. like, it's definitely not the best. But in either case, I think we should still be fine, as I'm going to be able to get a nice, good uh, U-turn nice turn off here. Okay, you can get right in the now, treads now. And definitely go out into my Iron Treads, because he does not have an Iron, he does not have a single Iron Treads yeah. whatsoever. you do get like, all forms of Basculin, Oricorio, and Meowstic, correct. Guy has zero Iron Treads switching. Righty ho. As right now, I'm gonna click our quick. I'm adamant. Stop sand. You ain't gaslighting me. I refuse to believe that. I refuse no to believe you don't die. Anymore. I guess I also could have clicked Iron Head there, but I don't want to be right, any Sawyer. leverage. It's alright, Sawyer. With Terra, be broken, I think. And also, Iron Head just picks off his jungle from here, so him just uh, going out into that is, that is something I don't think he's likely to do. But yeah, so as long as I keep my Alolan Persian healthy, uh, the Serilege is not gonna be is not gonna potentially sweep me. But I was gonna say, I expected him to. Yeah, you're gonna die. I'm sorry. Horse is a very fat Pokemon, but Horse is not fat enough to be able to survive that. Yep. I refuse to believe that. Although the other downside here is that now he can actually go out and use Hoogles, Boogles, Joogles again. And also, but then again, like, what the I hell? need to keep my Iron Treads, uh, iron treads around <laughs> here. He's gonna go out and use Arlong, which would have to be his guard chomp. Makes sense. But at this point in the match, I think getting this thing chipped down is so, 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 so worth it. And For also, Shadow Ball I'd like sweet. to find more information on and what this, well. uh, you get all the Trumper is. You do, you yeah, do get all the billies. You do get all the billies. I'm gonna just stay in and click Earthquake. Nope, he's gonna click Earthquake. Yeah, uh, I'm not. This is the same, uh, the same looking. Damn! Uh, I could have kept this thing as a sack. What am I doing? Yeah, I'm sorry about that, guys. Well, if you, you were think, faster, yeah, that was a good point. At play. that point, there was no reason for me not going in my A. So me potentially, you know, letting this piece go down like that for no reason was uh, not worth it. Yeah, he's gonna set up a spikes now. Ooh, but the, the hazard! Is, though, is that I have heavy duty boots. My hazard. My Alolan Persian, and I'm gonna miss my Wolves, of course. So lame. He's going for the end game. He's points. going for Sarah. Okay. Sarah Ledge looks like, like, legitimately looks like it could win. So it makes sense to do this. So if that's how this game is going to go, then so be it. Especially if it's like bulk up uh, Cobra or SD Cobra. Well, bulk up Cobra. But yeah, like I believe in DDs are separate too. It's not the it's it's it's, it's definitely not looking good. That's for sure. Unfortunately. Mm. But yeah, let's see let's see how the rest of this match is going to turn out. He's gonna set up all layer of his spikes, which makes sense. Especially now that my treads is gone, I don't have any hazard removal uh, removal anymore. Shut up, Windows yes. Security. Let's see how this. Uh, let's see how the rest of this match is gonna go. Don't have fire blast. But me, but yeah, it's still not, it's still obviously not over yet, guys, because I still got the Chopper Berry on my Rotom fan. He's gonna play Scale Shot, okay. Chip. Don't hit five. He's gonna hit five, is he? Chip. Nope. No. Cool. So right now, I think it's important for me to very much assess exactly how much health I need my Rotom fan to be able to survive a close combat. 46.3 to 54.6. Yeah, I'm gonna click Air Slash again. He's gonna hit, his, he's gonna hit the Scale Shot again, of course. I mean, 
Come on, please. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Thank you, sir. Please. Come on. Rotopan, please. Please, 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 please. Hit your air slash. There we go. Okay, cool. It's All right, so now you go Sarah Ledge. It's really nice. But that Let's crit, get X. I don't know if it's going to potentially matter, but it's still, it, def it doesn't change the fact that it sucks, though. So. You go Sarah Ledge now 100%. and get a kill with Bitter Blade. But if he decides to make a play of going on into his Iron Valiant now, that's going to be very, very beneficial for me. It has to be Sarah Ledge. Definitely yeah, see, this is where I wish I could. I guess technically you could also go Jugulus and click uh, Dark Pulse, too. That's free as well. Get my Metal Face around, because then I would have had a Reliable Sack. Yeah, D Jugulus and Dark Pulse is good, too. But I've had a reliable sack for him bringing in his Iron Jugglers, but that is not an option that I have the luxury of capitalizing on here now. Yeah, I don't know why I hesitated there. In all my mocks, nobody brought uh, nobody brought that thing. Sarah Ledge. Okay, yep. So Ryoma is gonna come out. Makes sense. It's going well. X, uh, thank you for asking. My Alolan Purgeon is still very, very healthy though. 48.4 to 57.5. So it's at 67%. Yeah, I can't switch that in. Unfortunately, I cannot switch that switch that thing in. So I'm actually gonna have to go out into my Azumarill here. Ooh, a bulk up with the so a bulk up Cobra Berry would legit be nasty on this. Or weak armor as well. Mm-hmm. If he goes for Jet here and it's bulk yeah, up, uh, weak armor, oof. I'm gonna go into my Addison here as he is going to click Bitter Blade. Okay. And that's gonna be able to kill. So that's strong. That's gonna be able to kill, which makes sense. But here, hmm, this is definitely tough. The, the end game is definitely gonna look very, uh, purple -like, like, confusing. If you. Nia's gonna be able to come out here. I think you go Harvel. <laughs> as your final po set of Pokemon would have to be your Iron, your Iron Hugulus. That is I, I legit, die, I legit think sure. Sarah Ledge is the win con here, so I think you go Iron Val hard. 13, 13 to fifteen percent. I think I definitely have to be make the more offensive play here. Although if he could, if he does go out into, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to counter with guys. Regrettably, mm. huh? nah, no, 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 no. We're not doing that tonight. Okay, so I don't know exactly what the idea was behind that play, but if it works out for him, that works out for him, right? But it's not, gonna, it's not gonna work twice. Yeah, it does. Well. In, as down goes the Ryuma, and that Damn. is very good. Okay. Cool. I still think going Val is fine because Shadow, uh, he doesn't kill you after with anything. I would have went Val, I think. Oh, we won't get to or Jug at least. But by this thing anymore, so I think that's wait, wait, hold on a second. We can actually win this, guys. Are we so back? Yeah. Okay. So I think I know. I now know what I need to do. I, I just you know what's crazy? Because if I'm Uzi and I saw that Mon go for Swords Dance, Ledge had no sleek. Ah, okay. So it didn't matter then. So Dragon Ball always outsped. Need my Rotom fan to survive. I really need this thing to survive uh, a close combat. But I wouldn't be surprised. Now I don't think he. I don't think this is a match where he would bring our sphere. Although I would not be surprised if he did, to be honest. But this is definitely down to the wire game, though, for sure. I do think that like there there are things that I can absolutely learn from this game. So definitely, I'll. Uh, I'll Val doesn't want to waste its booster. I don't think the booster matters because Pult doesn't KO with Shadow Ball, and Val is naturally faster than Persian. It was Salic weak armor. Oh. So then, what, if he was Salic weak armor, what he should have done was he should have um, swords danced on the on the Rotom, because then if you swords dance, Persian's more likely to actually go for uh, uh what's it called? Persian's more likely to go for a foul play if he swords dance. So yeah, it definitely should have swords dance a hundred percent, because you if you're Uzi side, you have to fear Shadow Sneak if he swords dances. So you literally have to foul play. So I think that was uh, I think he should not have bitter bladed. I think he should have set up if he had set up move, he should have went for it. Of that for the future. Mm-hmm. Because they have forces. Team. They're going to take Stealth Rock's damage, which is really good. So now, I think my play here is to foul play into a Shadow Ball. Alternatively, I could Thunder Wave it. Yeah. But, why, but what's the net benefit towards uh, doing that? It's at 67%, so I'm still out of range. In that case, I think I may just honestly click uh, foul play. I mean, I, I may just click foul play, click Shadow Ball with my Ocelot, and then potentially try to end this with my... That sounds uh, fine. Like, fan. So, that's, I think, what I'm going to do right now. Does plus two Bitter Blade kill the cat? For sure, it does. Also, it, it might, like, it for sure does. At 192, for sure it does. For sure. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Bob Blade's going to come up. As, yeah, you should definitely be in Rage on Shadow Ball now. He's going to put U-turn. Ooh. Oh, okay. I, I mean, the next mm. time it comes in, it's going to die. So, I don't know, this is a very... Mmm. Not a fan of that. Yeah, it's still Furco, but it's still plus two Sarah Ledge. Like, it's, it's still plus two Sarah Ledge. Like, let's just, like... eighty to 90, max HP, 64 to something. Even if it's max, max, it would literally have to be max, max. Well, what would it, what would the switch even be? 
What switch does he have? He has Dragapult and he has uh, Rotom Steel. I don't, I don't get the... What do you have to make a switch at that point? Hmm. Tricky endgame. How comes Zoro? Yep. What are you going to be, sir? Let's see what you booster. are. Booster. He's yep. going to be the booster. That makes so much sense. It's not even funny. But yes, I think for this or for, uh, for this endgame, it's very much going to have to come down to one thing that I don't want uh, I don't want to be a reality. But if that's uh, how this match is going to go, then that's how this match is going to go, right? He's going to play Moonblast. Makes sense. Right. Uh, I'm not mm. sure. <laughs> oh no. All right. Hey, I'm gonna need you to come through for me. No, wait, hold on a sec. I'm trying to see what I can do to guarantee yeah, myself a victory, I guys. Because I think I it may just be worth to click Volt Switch. Yeah, okay, I see it, I, I see it now. So here's what I'm thinking, right? Volt Switch in the Shadow Ball. If he clicks close combat, oh, yeah, he never set up Stealth Rocks. I don't know what I was uh, tripping about there. But I do think right now my play is to click actually Volt Switch. Just to guarantee myself this, this victory. Volt Switch would do 61. Yeah, you, you'd be in Shadow Ball in range then. So just to guarantee myself a victory and not hopefully, uh, hopefully this, a this chance, month, I'm gonna Joshua, switch. maybe like in a week and a half. Yes, or spear. No, 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 no. Come on. Do you come live? Can he survive definitely lives. Can he survive this? Can he survive? Oh my God! It took, go. the, it took that so well. well. What the hell? As both switches gonna come off. As right now, yeah, yeah. I think this game's over. All right. So Dragapult is actually gonna be able to take this thing home. It is such an amazing Pokemon, guys. The Jobberry, the Shepkiss, straight up Shepkiss. Right. So now I think I just clicked Shadowball two times and this game's over. Oh, was it Encore Calm Mine? Oh, if it was Encore Calm Mine, that would have been crazy. That that wait, was it Encore Calm Mine Iron Valiant? Well played, uh, Izzy. It's against the position, but was it actually Encore Calm Mine? Look at those timers. Oof, nice and low. Shadow Ball is my Shadow Ball is my end game. And also, lot it was Encore Calm Mine, bro. That's wild. I live plus one Aura Sphere. Yeah, but then it would force you to Air Slash. Also, why would it only be plus one, Uzi? Oh yeah, because he's hard switch. You calm my. It would force you to air slash though, but yeah, you can give me a second flare. See, okay, I'm doing it. I'm getting the second flare today. Yeah, it would force you to air slash, which could make the difference. Ooh, I think. This is well there we go. Shadow Ball is gonna come up. Down goes the Iron Valiant, and his last Pokemon would happen to would definitely be yeah. his Iron Douglas, which is not gonna survive this round. So I think, I think it was better. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all kinds, the. 100 clad times, I still gotta get used to saying that. He's gonna be able to take home a nice and glorious <laughs> nice. 2 0 victory. Nice job. Making meaning that we are just one victory away from reaching playoffs. Let's freaking go. Nice job. Seriously, shout out to Ben though. Like, that was a very, uh, that was a massive nail biter from start to finish. But I'm glad that I was able to take this game home. We are now officially one game away from clinching playoffs and hopefully coming one step closer towards seeing where the story exactly is. Yeah, I think Uzi played it well. Uh, the Deoxys thing, I think Deoxys should have been sacked instead of Azu because I think Azu got a kill when it came out. That was like the only thing I think from Uzi that could have been different. Uh, from Playmore, I think he should have Swords danced on the uh, the Rotom. Because uh, that Bluff Shadow Sneak, that Bluff Shadow Sneak versus Dragon Ball, so you can't go that. And that forces Persian to foul play. You and Dirk, the Salic, get the weakness policy, and then you win from there. So, yeah. Good game all around. It is MV time. Going to skip forward to the battle. MV versus Chimpact. Two friends. Playback. Make sure you check out both of them. The time has come to face my boy Chimpact in what I'm sure will be an epic battle. I had quite a few variations of the team that I'm bringing for this week with different sets. So, you know, if something doesn't work out this time around, I can switch these up for next time. I have a lot of sets. Yeah, I'm saying it was Salik. It was Salik. Weakness. Uh, weak armor. So that's what I'm saying. You Swords Dance on... Was it not Swords Dance Salik Berry? Surely it was Swords Dance Salik Berry too. If it wasn't Swords Dance, then that makes a difference. Hold up, let me go to let me go to play more side real quick. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean weakness policy. Yeah, I meant weak armor. I meant weak armor when I said it, <laughs> not weakness policy. That's why you get the tri the triple speed. It was SD Salik. Yeah, yeah. Then he definitely should have SD. Because it at least uh it at least forces the thing. Ideas in the back that I want to bring uh, for this matchup, but we're probably gonna face him potentially in playoffs as well. So gotta keep that in mind. I usually beat him in the regular season, and he's ended my playoff run twice now. So hopefully that won't be the case this time Ooh. around. Um, fingers crossed. But yeah, looking forward to this game in particular. Let's see what happens. Let's see what seems fire. And um, I'm excited. So yeah, we found him. Time to see what we're up against. Much here. love, Christopher. I appreciate you, buddy. And he's got the Tinglu to try to turn me into a Tinglu. He's got the Ogre Pond and the uh, Dragon Knights. Iron Hands, Drift Blim. So Drift Blim, Terra Captain, not the Revavroom. Okay. I mean, Drift Blim is a huge threat. 
and then Screamtail, which he recently acquired. I mean, we faced a Screamtail against um, <laughs> Drew. Drew B, and now we have to face Facing the Mon again, twice in so, a season is so freaking fact, funny. With this team in particular, like, it's super bulky, super fat team. He's got the potential for hazard stacks and spin blocking as well. I love Chip's um, My potential team. lead, I'm kind of liking Cleavor as a lead. Actually, no, Mew. Mew is a lead. I switched, so I've been switching sets last minute, and so Mew is a, a Spikes lead now. There was something else before. I was testing some other stuff out. But yeah, Mew is a Spikes lead. And so the goal with Mew is to taunt, shut down potential mons that have mental herb. So I can potentially like taunt a, or T-Wave, right? Spam paralysis and T-Wave stuff, taunt things that I need to like, uh, for example, Ting lose hazards or, or Dragon Dance, Dragon Knight. I can taunt that. Try to get up a spike if I can. T-Wave paralysis spreading is always good too, because it slows things down for other mons that I have on my team. Like, like you know, Raging Bolts or my Cleavor, which is Agility, Sword Dance, stuff like that. But Chimp decides to challenge me. Nice, Frosty. May or may not be his first mistake. Could be mine. I'm excited to watch. We'll find out. Leads Dragonite versus my Mew. So, I mean, if this Mew was any other Mew, it could have will o it could have Ice Move. F it. Just go right for Spikes. I think I have to taunt. I think I have to. If, it's Dragon, if he just tries to Dragon Dance turn 1, that's not going to be fun, right? I mean, I could transform, but... Yeah. Dragon Dancing turn 1 in front of a Mew is, is demon. Like, literally, Mew has so many Ice Moves and, and will o -Wisp. Yeah, it's going to be a speed tie. He'll get big damage up. Probably has E-Speed as well. So I have to, I'm like forced to taunt here, right? That's what I'm thinking. Just in case. It's, uh, I just know, get a, I just say F and get a spikes. Survive, uh, an attack. So, taunting. Uh, only... Claw. Shouldn't do too much. Nah, Josh, that's not both that's of them, okay, So, yeah. That was, if I knew it was Choice Bandit, I would probably uh, Thunder Wave into a spike or something. But yeah, I, I, like, I, was, forced to I was forced to taunt for the Dragon Knight potential. I would have get up. Thunder Wave is not. It would be nice, though. Yeah. It would be nice for the, uh, for the uh, Raging Bolt and other stuff. Furigraph, too. I thought that was similar to when Envy fought Uzi in, um, in semis. Like, I think he should have just spiked first and then done it. He always had Thunder Wave anyway. If it's Lumberry, it'll be okay. I don't think he straight up loses to Dragonite, is the thing. Outrun and stuff like that. Chipex oh, okay. a demon, by the way, for not fearing any ice move. Like, even Triple Axel on Mew is a thing. Actually, I don't know if it still has Triple Axel. It should. Now, I can go Cleavor potentially to. This is a fire Cleavor set. Axe, get some rocks up, right? I can also go Weavile. Now, Weavile is interesting because. He doesn't seem to have any triple axle switch-ins, right? Like, Screamtail and is, is bulky, right? Iron Hands is probably the bulkiest mon he has to take it on. But triple axle also has a pretty good chance of 2 Yeah, Iron Spike, hands, I think I would have gotten up Spike, I think. And, you know, first time bringing Weavile, the debut. Get to see this mon in action. It's gonna come right in on a Rocky yeah, hair, uh, on, uh, uh, Rocky Helmet Iron Hands, for sure. Extremely strong versus his team. Extremely, extremely strong. Switches out here, okay. And... Sounds like, yep, Iron Hands. Let's see how much damage this does. Yep, oh, helmet. Rocky helmet. <laughs> oh this... no, he really brought the Rocky Helmet this time to prepare for the Triple Axle. Or maybe just in general for the chip. Yeah, I think well, Spike would have been nice. That is Like, look how annoying. much Spike would have done. Yeah, that's uh, a little annoying, but does he I ice punch this thing with my own Rocky Helmet. Because then I could put it in range of the next Triple, triple axle, axle, which would be yeah. kind of nice. Yeah, that definitely uh, is not ideal for my Weavile in this uh, scenario. Very good. Him having Rocky Helmet is, is good. As I'm sure he probably saw his team was weak to my Weavile, so he brought the Rocky Helmet. That's the one thing I don't like about Weavile is that, you know, Later, really Skyla. Triple Axle because of the damage, but then, you know, you had to watch out for Rocky Helmet and stuff like that, too. That makes sense. Can't say I, uh, I don't think I was prepared too much for, for Rocky Helmet when I was testing. I didn't get to test with Joey as much. I got to test with uh, Amel mostly this week. He didn't test uh, at so all with me. I didn't, we didn't play any games with, uh, this week. Axle, and there was no Rocky Helmet, so that's fine. Um, I could probably, hmm, I kind of want to double, but at the same time, it's like, I could just Sludge Bomb here in case, uh, Ogre Pond or, I guess even if Dragon Knight wants to come in, he can, but mainly for the Ogre Pond. He would maybe go Ogrepon here, right? Because Ogrepon can switch into all my other moves, pretty much. Sludgebomb would have been good on Ogrepon, too. He does switch out here. Into Dragonites, okay. Smart. Yep. So breaking the multi-scale is wonderful. Him being paralyzed is great, because... You yeah, just lose, makes it you just lose a mon now. Later on, so I don't have to worry about him outrunning my mons and clicking Dragon Claws. He, he has to click Extreme Speed to you know, do damage and stuff like that. Uh, faster. So... Yeah, yeah Chimp just gets an attack off now. He doesn't have to worry because the unfortunate uh, thing if, is, if it was Spike, he can't I'll do anything with this. now <laughs> versus his six, which is not ideal. And his speed is nasty. Attacks, fine. I would love to get a Spike actually. Now that I think about it, but I do feel like paralyzing this Dragonite was kind of more worth just because we've all dice the speed too. Literally any other mod on my team, and so probably best thing to do is to get my Stealth Rocks up with Stone Axe, because if I do that, I can chip his team down further, putting things in range yeah, for his, my Fury Graph and my um my Raging Bolts. This should be fine now. And we know that because the Dragonite's banded, so every single time it comes in, it's going to take 25%. Uh, percent. It would be hard to set up here because the Iron Hands is still around, and I need that Mon dead first. Because I don't even think of plus two knocks out Fizz. I mean, that's a Fizz of Iron Hands. I think that's a Fizz of Iron Hands. It's 25% for, for Pretty Para. Sure. 
Which is a very good bring. Okay, it's my, I had, uh, if I had time, Frosty, I wouldn't mind. Yeah. Jeez, dude. Very little damage. This hands is taking nothing. Get our rocks up here. And Yo, Spike would have been huge. I'm gonna go for a graph. So, for a graph here because I, I obviously, you know, I don't want to weaken my raging bolt just yet. When Ting Lu is still healthy. Ting loser. Weavile looks really good though. Goes for close combat. Jeez. There's a lot. So it's not drain punch. It is a close combat set. Yeah, him not being drain punch is pretty fine. So he can't get the recovery or anything like that. And so now I guess what we can do is potentially I can psychic noise here. Terror Blast is better. Or maybe Terror Blast normal or Nasty Plot is a play that I can make too. If I Nasty Plot in front of this thing and he switches out. Because he should save mm -hmm. it to get chip. I like Nasty, nasty Plot. Would be an aggressive play, especially if he goes like Ting Lu here. I like Nasty Plot. You gotta make, you gotta make plays, bro. You, you, he you hella down. Go, he's yeah, hella down. He has a Nasty Plot. If he goes Ting Lu, that'd be amazing. Because then I get a big Terror Blast water on something. But if he goes Screamtail, that means he probably would have Encore. But I was most scared of the... I'm more scared of the, like, setup variants of Screamtail. The setup variants of Screamtail are, like, super scary. <clears throat> Who's that? Uh, that is Screamtail. Mm. Screamtail and rock damage, though. Okay, nice. Hope it's not Encore. But it could be. Either way, I could just get additional leftovers chip back. Uh, I I wouldn't mind Joshua, play, uh, but his Terror current Blast content normal. doesn't really. I still have stab on it. it is what do I play next? I play Drew. Another Rocky for the Weavile, the Encore for my setup. This week. What does he not have? Huh? What does he not have? That's it's wild. Fine, though. Um, it's an uphill game. It's gonna be an uphill game, but. That's wild. Like I said awesome. we have we have our we have some outs. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna go. I think hard Cleavor because I can probably just. Physical sweep or. Yeah, now that's. Now this is an Encore combo. I look nasty. And it's actually super chip right now, which is pretty good. Ooh, Ooh dual screens. Oh my fun. god. That is not fun at all. So he brought dual screens on his team. Let's double back. Because I think he's going to go hands. So if he goes iron hands, he just takes more chip. No, he wishes. Ooh. Oh, yeah. wait. I can select noise then. I should be able to select noise in this case. So then he'd be forced to go Ting Lu. Okay, so Encore, Reflect, Wish, and probably Light Screen. So it's probably one of those non-attacking sets. Yo, everybody on, be uh, running that versus Envy. Like, specific team, I think it's a lot better just because he has so much fat on his team. He has so much fat. Good play, so good play. So yeah, he goes Ting Lu. He's forced to go Ting Lu to block the... Uh, Dude, so, yeah, Spikes would have been so good here. I really think he just needs to set them up more. So now the question is... Who do I switch into if I switch into anyone? I could also Terra... I could also Terra and Nasty Plot. Wait, I think it's a better play because if I do this... No, it's a fun. I think it's a big damage off on something right now. So big plot. What does he go for here? Oh no, no, no. Okay, nice. I'm, I'm up, I'm up so with Shady though. I can so play much. whenever. That Shady, waking up, Shady wakes up at 5:30 in the morning and responds to my DMs. So I could Terra Blast here. You know, it's, it's so crazy that he has ways of playing around this mom, like going over pawn if he wants to, but hopefully he doesn't. Hopefully he'll. Oh, yes, I get damage off. Nice. I get big damage off here finally. Actually, this is great because this is big for Weaver. Ooh, wait, that's actually really good. That's actually really good for the Raging Bolt. Yeah, damaging that is so good for Raging Bolt. Because, well, let's see what he sends me out into first. Cleavor. Okay, that's that's fine. That is fine. You get, a, you get an X Scissor kill. Actually, he has Reflect yeah, up, right? Yeah, this damage is great, because when he comes back, he'll take rocks. Raging Bolt is weakness policy, so I literally have a, a great way of, of beating Ting Lu now when it's this week with Raging Bolt. Um, Wait a second. I kind of... Can he just SD there with Cleavor as he sacks Iron Hands and then Agility up and then crush everything? Am I wrong? I want to double back in case he goes into... I Maybe Josh. If he goes back I into Iron him. Hands, right? Then, if he goes back into Iron Hands, I just take Rocky on the chip, but in this way, I actually get Leftovers Recovery back while he goes Iron Hands. I kind of I, I kind of like SD here. I feel like Cleavor's his way of winning this game, because I don't think I don't think Raging Bolt ever wins. This is true, Alex. So, I don't... I go to sleep at 5 a.m. to wake up at 7 to do the same. Yeah, I think SD would have been good here. Screens and stuff like that. He does switch, nice. Did I call the Iron Hands correctly? Nah, Earthquake doesn't kill. Cool. Yeah, I, I think SD would have been yeah, really chip, good. good. Now, will he sack Iron Hands here is the question, because he may expect me to click Nasty Plot again or something like that. I feel like my best play is to probably... Second noise is good. Hits all the pawn too. And if he lets me have this Mon, that will be wonderful. Then we're kind of slowly climbing back up. It'd be great. It would be. Yeah, Ting Lu being that weak is amazing. And so Second Noise is so good against like these kind of Screamtail teams that I wish <laughs> Pokemon back up because... Keeps them on their toes. Now, fortunately for him, he does have Ting Lu every single time, so I can't psychic noise that one, but I also have Roar as well, which is going to come in handy. I think Roar is going to be so great. And he gives, me ting, he gives me the uh, Iron Hands, Iron Hands. Big, big, big. He gives me the Iron Hands. I really want him to give me the Ting Lu, though, please. <laughs> I need the Ting Lu. Yeah, one spike would have been huge. Okay, one one down is the Iron Hands, which means... I mean, that triple, triple Axel looks insane. Triple, triple Axel now, Letter, is he? without having to worry about any Rocky Helmet, because the mods that should have Rocky Helmet... Because that's shady, Josh. Which are the... Um, well, I don't think Screamtail has Rocky Helmet. I don't believe it does, so... Well, you psychic noise, so he can't heal. What should I do here? Uh, maybe Terra Blast for damage or psychic noise. 
I could psychic noise here actually. That way he can't go for wish. So yeah, his last move is light screen, like I figured. So he can't so hear. I figured. That spike would have been nasty. So encore. So you go Cleavor. Reflect light screen. This doesn't matter. So the reflect wore off. He'll probably get the reflect now again, unfortunately. But we can just keep doing this thing down, right? There's no leftovers recovery. And so we can permanently make this thing not heal, but I guess he'll have to encore me eventually. Yeah, ninja. That so is bro. Game, right? That is zero. Is healing that payback damage, and keeping this thing, keeping for graph healthy is essential for this game. Super, super. Yeah, simple. that's really fun. But this goes, this goes so right this back into Tinglu. So I think he does he go for he now. <laughs> does he go for roar? <laughs> does he go for roar in the Tinglu? Because if he brings in Tinglu, it's free. Uh, Okapon also. Hmm, what do I do here? Maybe I could go Cleavor potentially. Uh, physical sweep hmm. or Cleavor's cool because it covers the potential of him going for encore, and also I could probably get up an agility. I know he has encore, but. Like, I, I move last, so I can agility up and then start attacking stuff. Could be cool. Could be an option. Yeah, there's the Encore. Okay. That works. No heal either. And so he could go for the Wish here, but I do think my best play is to agility up to be faster than the rest of his team. So we get the nice agility going. Looking pretty good. So now he's in a position where he has to switch or he has to um, lock me into Encore or something like that. Yeah, this thing can attack. Okay. So this is where this, this mod attacking me. is really good. So this forces in Dragonite. Honestly, not bad. He does get to heal up though, unfortunately, but this is fine. I'm gonna exit her again for more damage. So when this mod comes back in, it'll be up around half, maybe a little less. So now the play to make is to switch. I feel like he's gonna go into Dragonite, maybe. Hmm. I think Dragonite comes in to wish back up because he I unlocked an exit, so he's gonna go into something that resists it. I guess it could also be Drifflim, but yeah, either Dragonite or Drifflim comes out here. But then Drifflim is Terra, so if it's Dragonite, this is actually great for us because we get a triple axle off. Well, he speed kills you, bro. In comes in. Ooh, is that the uh, Drifflim? It is. So he takes rocks and then wishes it back up. This mon is scary. I don't know what it's going to do. It probably has Unburden. Light screen wore off, so Reflect should uh, follow soon. I'm going to go into Furigraph here. So now is where I believe we'll make good use of our last move, Roar. Because if this mon is Calm Mind, it's going to get very scary very quickly. He's nice to Terra. Yep, so we get to okay, out what, what is. is it? Terra Fight? It's going to be Terra Fighting. Makes Ooh, sense, makes sense, makes sense. You have the Terra Blast. No Flare Boost. He's not bringing that. Flying Fairy and Fighting, I think. Strength nice. Okay, that's good. Ooh, he gets, set, so he gets nothing out of that. From this turn. Very nice. I think I can probably Psychic Noise here, is my play. Just to get damage off on something. I could probably Psychic Noise. I don't know if he combines here or not. Psychic Noise is an option. because he He's, he's definitely, he's definitely not going to combine. He's going to go, uh, he's gonna go Scream Tail. But he could be weakness policy, but it's fine. Maybe. It's always going to be Scream Tail. Weakness policy is definitely a, a scary option on, on Drifflin too. But he goes to Lou, which is a smart play on his part. Maybe I should Terror Blast hard to say, right? Because what if he nasty the between I guess he's... Terror Blast Water and Psychic Noise is very difficult due to the fact that he has an immunity to Water yeah, and an immunity to Psychic. But both of those moves are just good if you hit the right Mon at the right time. But yeah, Ting Lu, Ting Loser. This mod needs to get weakened even more. Oh, shoot, Ooh, the Doom Blade, the Doom Blade Overcon, the Doom Blade Overcon. That the, uh, oh, that's yeah, that's Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond. Wow. <laughs> this mod probably has Encore too, right? <laughs> this mod probably has Encore. Good plays, good plays. I think we're both making some pretty solid plays right now. Especially me being in the back foot trying to make these plays, like trying to, you know, stay afloat, and him making these plays when he's already up is pretty good. Actually, a pretty good game so far. I like it. Actually, giving me a challenge too. But Raging Bolts should take this on pretty well, and if he goes for like a goes for Sword Dance, we should survive Play Rough. I made this thing very bulky on the Fizz side. Made it very, very bulky. There's an Ivy Cudgel. We have a 30% chance for a Paralysis right here as well, which would be wonderful. Do we get it? We don't. Big damage for we Weavile, though. There. That would have been so, so good for us. That would have been incredible for us. I could try again, in case he tries to stay in and do something else, like Horn Leech or something, or... I don't know if he would. Switches out, okay. So he goes into... King Lu once again, okay. An aggressive play I could have made was, oh, I could never have combined it, no, because of Encore potentially. And if I'd gone for Dragon Pulse and he stayed in. You know, he could have gone Scream Tail too. Like, I could have switched up moves. Yeah, all, I know. Just 50 -50 switches. Yeah, every, all, just switches, all these switches make to, uh, Spike look so good. Good mons or immune mons. Tough matchup, but you know what? I, see, I, I know I live in Earthquake. Well, depends on his V-Spread, I guess. I could go, what if I went hard into... Hmm. Bro. That Spike would have been crazy. Into who, I'm not sure. Maybe uh, Cleavor? Cleavor could work right now. I, th I think Cleavor can still win. Potentially. It's a tough situation. It's a tough, like, spot that I'm in right now. Spikes. Ah, these will be annoying. Smart. These will be quite annoying. See, that's, so he's that's what should have been... Yeah, that will that's it. Do instead, of, instead of taking Earthquake damage, which does give him damage now, he is doing something because he knows that Scream is going to force switches. So Spike was very smart. Now he's back in the green HP range. Ting Lu is annoying. <laughs> Ting Lu is so annoying. That's very smart. I think Nexus should do some good damage, though. Decent enough damage, I think. Hey, I'm glad you like it, Eddie. Yeah, spikes are big. The Dragonite is still around. 
I also have to make sure I don't get anything into like extreme speed range either. Which would be a little scary. I mean, we've all dies easily. That's the, uh, oh, the Dragonite. Okay, so it is being sacked now, I guess. That is Whoa. pretty good. That is uh, definitely... That's a okay, big... Nice. That's, so, a yeah, really, that's, that's a really... That's a really big sack for Weavile. That opens up Weavile a lot. Because I'm very bulky on this set. I'm like a very bulky offensive Cleavor. And he just doesn't, so that's good. Dragonite is dead. Excellent. So now it's 4-4. Four four. Huge! I actually thought it was... Uh, I actually I'm thought climbing Dragonite... Out climbing out. <laughs> really nice. Drifloom's back. Ah, yes. Drifloom Arguably the biggest threat we have to face right now. But if anyone can do it... Now you just Shadow Ball. If you got it, you can combine so up, I guess. Uh, you know, we're going to need to... So if it's just like Strength Sap and... Like support wise, I think we're fine. No, it's combined. Uh oh. Yep. This set's a dangerous one. This set is a very dangerous one. And now, and now, thankfully, on my free I've kept. I actually didn't want to go free speed just in case. One move that will save us. Yeah, facade. Ah. From this absolute monster, monster balloon. Drifblim definitely reminds me kind of of like my uh, last season Espeon in, in a way. You know, it's like very, very dangerous combiner has incredible sweeping potential. Like it could good roar, you very good roar. Hesitation without a notice. But now look at all, look at what spikes, bro. You can roar out Espeon. You can roar out Drifblim. I'm gonna That's be cool. honest, like. I keep saying it, but if Envy had spikes up, he could have been clicking Roar this entire game. Because that Mon forces in so much damage on everything. For sure. Ogre Pond's back. And we walled this Mon. So we know it's Swords Dance, Ivy Cudgel. We're probably second noise here. Encore. Yep, of course he has Encore on this too. But he Encore's into Roar, which is actually fine, right? Again, look at, look at Spikes, bro. <laughs> look at Spikes and Rocks. Ah, uh, gets into screen tail. That's cool. Ooh, uh, now he gets a wish. this uh, is really gets a wish. Yeah, but this is a really good roar either way. Means I'll probably just have to like. You need this do guy. I, do I have to like? Ah, uh, you have, have to get this guy right? out here. Like it's hard to switch out. Oh no, he just reflects. Oh, okay. Good, good. That then, that still opens up oh, Weaver. Actually, that's Weaver fine. looking stupid good right now. Weaver no looks fish. insane. Active right now. That's good. And I'm just sending him flying everywhere. Uh, God. Okay. But now I have to, now I have to throw this. <laughs> yeah, look. Mind, right? I can't switch the Spikes would have just won the game right here. What? Swept. So I'm forced to roar again. But then I get. But then I am free. He just Wait, spikes and then clicks here. triple axle. This is gonna do a lot too. I really wish I roared out back. Um, I really wish I roared out the uh, scream tail into like ogre pond or something. That would have been way better. Yeah, that yeah. Way better. Cause you take no damage. Scream tail ogre pond or something like that. But okay, now reflects for triple axle we weevil. Cause he knows that weevil will eventually we'll come in. Leftover recovery back. He doesn't have to worry. He doesn't have to worry about if it's encore. He doesn't have to worry about uh the special attacks he goes for. It's just in advance for weevil. Or my encore ended right, but I need to keep myself healthy. I need to keep. I need to keep this thing healthy. I could probably go into, hmm, I could go Cleavor, right? Because Cleavor kind of just, it'll eat the hits. Cleavor will eat the Again, hits. it's really hard for me to talk because I clicked the wrong move this week too. It's either Cleavor or Nasty Plot or Roar, right? Those are my options. I could Roar again, but not, if I get hit by a payback, like Photograph's the only thing that's keeping me not swept from I know. Drifting behind screens. Same thing, right, right Joshua? Hell on wish, same maybe thing. we can go Cleavor. Click Spike, same thing. 10 seconds, yeah. All right, you know, let's just see what happens. I don't see like a, a clear right answer and I don't see a clear, I mean, obviously there's clear wrong answers, but. I mean, Sorry, he just clicked right Spike here. There's no reason not to. Earthquake is good, too. Whirlwind. Ah, well. Who am I getting sent into now? Hopefully I mean, if, it, if, again, if it's Weavile, he just gets a kill. Ooh, Weavile. Wait, this is actually not bad. This is actually not bad. Because my Adamant Triple Axle Weavile, even even through Reflect, right? Even behind Reflect, it's going to like it's gonna do so much. It's going to destroy this mod, actually. I don't know did if it lives or not. This would be great if we actually got like, damage off the thing. the because If it's like Spidef, which I think... I don't know if this thing is Spidef or not. This might be Spidef, judging by the... Damage that it took from plus two nasty plotted uh, thing. It could be. I'm not sure though. To be fair, if so Judah wasn't so paralyzed, it could have been a problem. Max eight. Yeah, but he could have just clicked Spike and then Thunder Waved it, right? Even if it's Dragon Nest, it's not going to kill for Rigrath and one, and he just roared out anyway. HP maybe? Or Spidef? Oh, oh no. no, an Earthquake gets oh, the kill. No. That's so no. Wait, that's the worst. And an Earthquake quick to spite me. That doesn't matter, but yeah, the triple axle miss was so huge. Wait. That sucks. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, it might be over now. Tinglu just turned me into a Ting Loser. Ah. Uh, that's rough. Now I have to chip this thing down. The triple axle miss would have put this thing like so. Okay, maybe it doesn't knock it out from that range. Maybe it doesn't. But I, I would be, I wouldn't have to go Cleavor now, right? I'm trying to think, if I had knocked it low enough, that miss is huge. That miss is actually terrible. That's rough. So if it's like attack and spadef, I would have knocked it out. If it's HP and attack, it would have been maybe out of range, but low enough such that I don't know if Self Rock knocked it out or obviously my photograph would have. Yeah, look at the damage through reflect too. My choice band Adam Triple Axel would have done so much. It would have done so much. And now I'm at 61 HP. This no attack like, scream tail was a really good call into uh that completely into MV. I was positioning so well. Or yeah, in, in scenarios where it was like a lot better. To hit all three it's like 77% Hig. Yeah, I mean triple axel is Weavile's best move. For sure, I hate, but I hate low, low, I hate low accuracy move. moves. Rocky Helm is one reason. And missing. It is worth <laughs> it for the hit. damage though. Reason, but for the it kills. should not have missed. Like not not here, not now. Please. 
Yeah, this one's back in. And I think now it's over because... Um, oh, that's rough. <sighs> yeah, because he can now get the... Uh, he can against get the, him? Uh, no, I wouldn't have ran Roar against him. Right. Air slash B95 actually the biggest scam. Yeah, facts. Uh, Everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't even be in this position if it wasn't for that miss. I would not have been in this position. It happens though. I think I Yo, even with 100% uh, accurate game, right? moves, I feel like I miss. <laughs> I don't think it makes it a bad game or anything. I think it makes it still a great game. Just I'm not sure, Joshua. Maybe a lot of our favorite, yeah. But it doesn't online. work for Golden Go, is the problem. Shadow Ball did uh, quite a lot before. Also, such a good Terra Captain. Did you say this little thing was mid? I didn't say it was mid. I'm roaring right now at my screen because I thought the triple axle missed, but yeah. I said it's not as scary because we haven't so seen it be used yet. Yeah. Raging Bolts. I mean, everybody said our Believer was a, mid, and look what it's been doing this out. season. I have a, I have a good, uh, I have a good shot knocking this out actually with my investment. Ooh, Jeez. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I would block this thing. No pair. Uh, Thunderclap doesn't kill. I thought. Ah, nice. <laughs> nice. Probably, probably a roll too. Probably. Probably is. Damn, Drifton went stupid. That's crazy. Drifton's a good mod for sure, but I would not have been in that position if it wasn't for the miss. That really is unfortunate. Yeah, now I died to this thing. I too. really think Spike was just really big. Well played. I think we both played well, though. I think we both played well. Chimp was playing really well to keep his... Yeah, King that Spike up. as well from Chimp was really good. I think Chimp made all the right plays. I think he did great. I think Envy would have gotten a lot earlier on if he get the Spike. That miss obviously sucks. I don't know if Tingu died or not. Probably did. It's Adam and Choice Band, but... Drifflum still could have been scary in the end game, but he could have at least phased it out. Preserved and stuff like that. And yeah, I mean the miss is fine. Tingle would actually not have been preserved if my triple axle hit. Miss sucks. I mean it just ruined my positioning. I would have instead of having to go Cleavor, right? Right? I could have just gone to Frigograph. Um, Kill leader right now. Um, in the current draft league, well, I'm gonna say the current uh, the killie that we have. What up, Sav? I think Kill leader currently is Driftblim. I think Driftblim's actually Kill leader. But I also think Arbaliva's top two or top three as well. Let me see. Let me see on the. Uh, record so far. It's in this season's fan doc. Let me check the fan doc real quick. SBL Hub fan doc. Here's a fan doc for season two. Real thing about. I try. Oh, wait. The fan doc isn't updated for this week. Hmm. Yeah, it's not updated for this week. But it will be. I think actually in the fan doc. Because we did not put, they didn't, they don't have this Drifflin's kills in the fan doc or my Arbelieves kills. I did watch the Super Bowl. It was a good game. All right, last game of the week. Drew versus Leo. Leo has a crazy team. YouTube, AK, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to our week number four match of the SPL, where we are taking. Hmm. Black Sludge, freaking love Overquill so much. But I've been liking his swing and cool fish a lot too. I love his team. <laughs> Billy gonna be kill leader one day. It might get a kill. Choice Scarf Bundle looks stupid good here. Uh, Charty Berry's nice. Let's it potentially Thunder Wave this guy. So that's pretty cool. You have Intimidate as well. I like Choice Scarf Bundle a lot for, for this one as well. What up, Slushy? Assault Vest. Pretty nasty. You know what look actually nasty though? This homie. Pro fast. Taking on I Drew and his I marauders. Like they channel can stuff be down below. Make sure to answer the common question of the day. Check him Make out. Make sure you check out Leo as well, guys. Actually, check out Leo and Drew. Six. I was expecting. Um, Rillaboom and Weezy. Dun, 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 okay, dun, dun. So this is about what I expected. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. I kind of just want to lead with my overquill, I think. If you guys don't have Valentine's, I'll be your Valentine's. And I can just get up a spike immediately. <laughs> I need to be very careful with I got that. Valentine's, but you know. Um, Always share the love. I am bolder. Also, guys, I think I'm getting sick. I really do not feel... Hey, too good. Yeah, well, soon, buddy. It sucks playing when you're sick. Day, so hopefully this doesn't take too long. Now, Drew did beat us in season one of the SPL. We came very, very close, just barely, barely missing out on, on the victory. So, but your team is a lot stronger now, Leo, in my opinion. Justice here 
Let's jump into this match. I'm super nervous. I'm excited. Hopefully, we can bounce back uh, after a ultimate yeah. loss in week three. We are two and one plus two, if I'm not mistaken. So, hopefully, we can pull out a dub here as we're going to go ahead and get this rocket. All right, let's see what he wants to lead with. Of course, our lead is going to be um, Overquill. Good lead on Leo's part. He's off with the Boomer. So, he's faster than us because he went before us. Get the hazards up. His ability activated before us. We do have the Intimidate, though. So, I just kind of want to get up a spike here, I think. I like... This is literally what... Yo, yeah. when I fought Infernip, I ran the sack, same thing. Little Aqua Jet for chips, same thing versus Mammoth Swine. Yeah, I'm never I'm never drafting Bundle either. I don't want to click Hydro Pump. You could expect us to switch. Getting up Spike is going to be very handy. We are going to try and get up a Spike here. He's trying to figure out what he wants to do. I'm hoping he thinks we'll just harden to Zap and we'll switch out. Yeah, so he switches out immediately. We get up a free Spike here. Cologne? Cologne? The Weezing, okay. Weezing. Did you find the Weezing? Did you find the Weezing? I don't think that this would be faster than me. So I kind of just want to go for Taunt, honestly. He could defog. I mean, you don't have a strange team. I think taunting switching. is fine here. Uh, he can will-o-wisp. I, I think, he I think he's just. I think he's a strange team. By any means, unless he's running like timid max speed or something. She is fine because we are we are running a little I bit of speed on this overquill. I, I bet you I can get so a bunch of kills with Chi too. You just got to use it offensively. Then our overquill. So I'm hoping he'll fall. He's doing fine with you. That he's gonna be able to defog maybe, where he goes for will-o-wisp. We'll see. Yep, smart. No, the strange attack okay. where they can't attack where they can't defend. He has no strange team switching. Yeah, so he does have some special... The grassy, the grassy terrain, though, making that do so much less. Uh, this is good because now, this gives us a free switch into our Uxie, I think. Uxie. Good chip yeah, on so this, too, though. From here, we can maybe go for U-turn, threaten him out, potentially. He does have uh, the grassy terrain for us, so we are getting back a little bit of HP on our overcool. So we can bring in Uxie here as he goes for the steam again. Does about 63. Yeah, he has some special attack investment, it looks like. Hmm. Probo Pass is a pretty safe switch in here. We can U-turn, I think, though, because Psychic is gonna smack. How you handle midweek Pokemon trades? Um, so the way we do trades is that uh, trades for the next week have to be put in by Sunday midnight uh, PST. If you don't do that, then you cannot trade. That that trade will not go into effect for next week, unless your opponent is okay with it. If your opponent's okay with it, which means they haven't prepped yet, then you could do it. So, for instance. Week five is uh, this week. So uh, this is week six. Technically, we are in week six already playing. But if this is week five and week six is next week, I would have from now until Sunday to put in a trade that could work for my week six game. Do you have any tips to do proper drafts? I've been in two draft leagues now and struggle a bit with getting different play styles and speed tiers. Um, Lucas, I would check out the stuff in my community post because Tone does a great job highlighting this stuff. So I usually, uh, what's it called? I usually plug them. Yeah, her Tone does a really good job at kind of like breaking down how to draft in Scarlet and Violet. He has a couple videos. This is episode four. He has four of them. I plugged them all, I think. So definitely check those out. I think they're very good uh, for that. Do you see on Uxie? If I have Sludge Bomb, I click it once. How many trades are they allowed? We allow seven total transactions in the season for ours. Usually it's five is the standard, but we allow seven just because we want to have more fun this for sure so yeah I, think he's gonna do a lot exactly. this, so I really don't think he's gonna want to stay in here but when you bring out specs you just click so you could bring in probo pass if he's leftovers then with grassy terrain he'll be brought back into sturdy range which could be a little bit annoying but this will give us a switch into potentially does it take a long time to edit toss. the interest for your draft videos pedro does it throughout the week spend like an hour an hour yeah. and a half each day probo sometimes he's busy so he does it all in like six thing. seven Super hours fat. it's also his terra captain so i am a little concerned i record everything ahead of time i don't think you should risk this getting weakened though Yes, so we're going to be able to keep momentum on our side. Me. Me. Probo Pass? That's... Probo Pass. <laughs> okay, I can see. I can see that. That's actually kind of funny. I like that. Oh, actually, he might just barely be out of range of Sturdy, honestly. Yeah, I think he will. With Spike plus Utah, I think he is out of mm. range. I kind of like going into Ogre Pond here. Now, fire Power Gem is going to hurt. Power Whip is really nice, dude, in terrain. But if he Terra's... What would he be? Terra Steel? He Steel, Ghost, and Fairy. Fairy's good into you. So I could just bring in... Pedro's literally go. Yeah, I think I'm just going to bring in my Ogre Pond here. I cast Hedro everything early. Even if he hits us with the Power Gem, it's not... Like, after this ever. stream, I'm going to record my intro for tomorrow's video. <sighs> Alright, so let's see what he's going to do here. I'm going to go straight for the Ivy Cudgel, I think. Because if he Terra's, we're smacking him. Yeah, an Ivy Cudgel is going to be doing good damage to whatever comes in. Whether it be the Weezing... Maybe it's Or if he stays this... Or if he stays in with this. I don't know. We should be good. So I can do some damage here for sure. We're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. We got to spike up. We're about to hit something super I hard. Mind, but... If I can get up rocks, that would be even better for us. 
I could have got. I don't even know if they would want to do it. Uh, do that stuff with me. But gaining momentum is also good for us. So he's sitting at like 95. If he wants to stay in or if he wants to switch, this is going to be probably mixed offensive, I would assume. Weezing also coming in is going to take a lot of damage, and I need to weaken that Weezing if I want to have a chance of keeping on my hazards and Great Tusk putting in some more, because Great Tusk can actually do some really good damage to him. So he stays in. There's nothing. Okay, damage. I'll take that. Jeez. Oh, that did a lot, actually. That did more than oh, I did. I appreciate it. Thank you, Izzy. All right, Pro Pass. Pro Pass is a GOAT. It's slightly out of range. I'm going to Stomping Tantrum here. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. We're going to risk it. We're going to Stomping Tantrum. If he stays in, this could drop. Yeah, VTuber, that's a lot of money. He doesn't Terra. He doesn't Terra. This could drop. Yes, let's Damn, go. Damn, that's a big KO. Awesome, that's great. Oh, man. Oh, that's, yeah, great. that's great. That's great. That's one giant, Dogs doing great. giant wall out They went away. out today playing in the snow. Okay, good. Now, I think I just clicked Ice Beam for free. A well, he's got yeah. Infernape. Infernape is still kind of scary. Nah, but getting rid of Purple Pass is even really, Ape, actually nice. Ape with Spike and Stealth Rock. I almost didn't have Stomping Tantrum on this. I was so close to not putting it on, but I was like, you know what? Uh, it's probably going to come in handy. So if he was like max defense, max HP, uh, it might have been a roll because he was sitting at about 69-70%. That was a huge KO by Leo. I think that, that got, opens up um, bundles so much. Defender. Oh, what does Grassy Seed boost? Shoot. Defense. Defense. Yeah. Oh, man. If he's Grassy Seed on top of that, it's actually him, like... a little terrifying. Um, okay, this could be a little scary now. All right, we're up. We got a spike up. Terrain is gone. In comes the Boomer again. No, the Weezing. Okay. I think I just hard into my Yuxi again. Or actually, Zapdos isn't bad either. I kind of like Yuxi because we threaten him, although he could go for the poison move, which is what I'm a little concerned about. Uh, I could also stay in here and just try and do damage. Yeah, I think could have just really good. Some good damage to him. I'm a little concerned about Sludge Bomb, though. Sludge Bomb would just obliterate us. Uh, I'm going to try and make the hard Yuxi. He could go for Defog. I think he should have teared. He could definitely but he go probably didn't expect here. anything to take it. Or he, he does wants just to steal resist, too. He may not have Defog. He does have Defog. Okay. I'm gonna get up my rocks and just try to pressure him, because if we're gonna keep forcing him to defog, then that's gonna put him in a position. I I texted my friend on Monday at 1 p.m. Want to call around seven today? And he just texted me today, Wednesday at 3 a.m. Sure, I'll be home. I don't think he looked at the date I texted him. Oh well. <laughs> he just saw. <laughs> What's good? No gravity. <laughs> no worries, bro. Position of where we can do damage to him. I should have got some water. I'm thirsty. Darn it, man. Bro said he'd be home. That's good. That's good. I forgot my water. Also, just, I want to give a huge thanks to Drew. We were supposed to play this the night before, but I really, really messed up and made a huge blunder, and I registered the wrong team. He was nice enough to reschedule for today on the actual day that we're playing. So tonight, so huge thanks to him, guys. He's a very, very awesome dude. So he goes for defog. I'm guessing he's levitate. Yeah. But that spike came in handy because we got rid of Purple Pass. Now we can get up rocks. Start putting some pressure. I could see him switching maybe into the Boomer. Rilla Boom. That would make sense. That'd probably be me, Josh. <laughs> then we can stay in or, or I can um, hard into Zapdos. Let's see. All right, there's a lot of games that I wish happened this season. Boomer. Okay, oh, yeah. Duh, that was his lead. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I didn't catch the nickname initially. Leo's playing very well. He's keeping up momentum. So He's hiding his text and then using them. And then, like, I, I think the biggest thing against Drew right now is going to be his hazards. These hazards are going to be stupid into him. Or rocks. I freaking love Drew. Drew's amazing. He actually is amazing. Let's see. This is definitely faster than us. I want to say. I kind of want to go straight into Zapdos because we can static him. Yeah, and we have Charty Berry for the boulder. The boulder. If he U-turns here. So we can bring in Zap. Oh, man, I miss Z-moves. Z-moves were so cool. I think that's my that's my favorite mechanic. Actually, I think that's going to be the question of the day. What's your favorite mechanic? Like Z-moves... Um, Gigantamax, Mega, Z -moves, Z moves and Megas definitely are, are my favorite. G Max was a little Mega weird. Pokemon, definitely, yeah, that's good. So he does go for the knock. Shoot. Nice, good strong knock. Very, sh very strong knock. 130, jeez, what? No Charty Berry oh, yeah, today. He's definitely, he's definitely adamant. Is uh, it I'm passion? Just switch because we can roost later. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to stay in here. I'm going to Volt Switch. Yep, Drew's always been just a great guy. Just a stand up. But now guy. we know that he does have Defog on the Weezing. Defog, Strange. Yeah, I, don't, I don't miss Z moves at all. Oh, 29. Yeah, he got a good roll. He's definitely like, adamant, I think. Yeah, there's no way. Because uh, Jolly wouldn't have done that much. Facts, is he? Knock makes sense. Because we're Yuxi, and obviously we're getting Zapdos. I want to keep my Black Sludge on Overpool, though. Losing the Charty Berry actually really sucks. That really, really sucks, man. Drew not having rocks up is really big 
here. Like rocks would be oh, so amazing. Because Drew's has no always type. forced to switch. We have rocks up. In comes the wheezing again. Have you seen the wheezing? If he has defog on this, this is a good time. Oh, that does a lot. But I mean, you can just and go bundle and ice beam. And click psychic, I think. Psychic's better, actually, yes. More accurate. You don't have to take stealth rock yeah. damage unnecessary. Yeah, that's uh, fair. Ogre Pond, I don't think we'll quite finish it off, unfortunately. But we should be able to finish this off with the psychic. That's really funny, right? We are faster. Definitely guaranteed we are faster. Yeah, I, as long as he doesn't have too much yes, of a death. Thank you. He's hitting at 55. He's going to come in on rocks. So I think we're good here. I can just click Psychic. Yeah, Bolt Switch did a good amount to him. So that means... I mean... Psychic should we're probably getting, what, Black and White remakes this year? faster with Overkill. Or some version of Black and White, and then it. maybe X and Y remakes so we're applying in three, the pressure. years. Why, so we might, we might get Megas back. Getting up those rocks. I have no idea what they're going to do there in the future. They should be here to stay for the whole game. They're going to just start remaking the, all the Giants. Great. Two of his walls gone, putting us in a pretty good spot. That boulder is still very, very terrifying. Boulder is very terrifying. Depending right. on what it's running. I'm surprised he's not running foul play on this mom, but I guess because he has U-turn to it bring it into so Psychic, this should just drop. Yeah, this is big. Big KO. Let's go. Awesome. Yeah, that's I, would, I wouldn't mind... That's good. That's good. All right. We're in a really good spot. I wouldn't mind Legend Johto. I would rather... I'm going to run and get a water real quick. Uh, Personally, I'd rather Let's Go Johto than Legends Johto just because I want to be able to do Wi-Fi battles and I really enjoyed Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Wi-Fi battles. They were very fun. Connecting was fun. They were quick. I personally like that, and I actually enjoyed playing through Let's Go Pikachu Eevee. I know that's not a popular opinion, but it was my favorite version of Kanto, and it actually really made me want to catch Pokemon. Like, legitimately, I mean, I streamed that entire game, right? And I caught every Pokemon on stream. Like, I literally filled the Pokedex out on stream, and I, I actually had a lot of fun doing that, and then did all the Wi-Fi battles, so I don't know. I don't know if those leaks are real or not, but yeah, I definitely want... Legends... So I, I wouldn't mind Legends Johto, but then it has real battles, like you said. Yeah, not their stupid, not the first strike, second strike, uh, rapid style, or Shifu stuff. Um, I just want real battles, because that game was fun during stream for the marathon I did with Dan, and then I never played that game again, because there's nothing to do after. Unless you're a VGC player having to beat the game to get an Amherst, there's no point. Back just in time. In comes the boom. All right. Are they going to do fusions in the future? Uh, what hammer is going to hurt? Our Zapdos really bad if he goes for that. Uh, I really can't afford to stay in, though. That's the problem. I can't afford to stay I in. I doubt it, X. I want to say I could go right into this one. I'm worried he'll have... I mean, does it's different It's different teams doing it. It does. Shoot. So it's... I think I'm gonna whoever's working on Gen here. 10 is not doing the same thing for the... Oh, he's going to double. Okay. Oh, if he's defiant? Yeah, fusion do exist with, like, Kiram and stuff. Oh, oh, okay, good. No, all right. This is fine. All right, this is great. This is great. Actually, this really works out for us. But what does it do? Okay, I think I can just barb barrage for free. Is it sub? More if it's or sub, less. if it's sub SD, it's a problem. Yeah, with grassy terrain up, we live everything, everything and anything he goes for. Yeah, barb barrage and aqua jet do good damage to him. I'm worried. Like this, can this boost its speed? Oh, if it's agility, that's hmm. Uh, I, if think, it's agility, I think Gen maybe 10's that's a problem. Be fantastic. Maybe. Meteor beam. Ooh! What? Sir? Oh wow. Oh my god. Does it kill? That did a lot. Yo, what up, Ice Man? Oh, we get the poison though. Okay, good. Oh, that's big poison. Whoa, dude. whoa, whoa! What? Meteor beam. That did so much. Is this a problem? If this was sub I'm scared now. Yo, low key, sub SD had a shot at winning this. <laughs> low key. Because it definitely has like psychic, I guess. That's um, so funny. Guy like me clicks meteor beam again. F it. Oh wow, great tusk eats. That's not bad. That's not bad. High F horsepower. It. No, I meant to put close combat on. I mean, stomping, not stomping tantrum. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I meant to have um. Earthquake. Oh no, I do have it on here. I guess I, guess I wasn't ever clicking a move. Shoot, dude, I don't want to lose Overquill. I really don't, but I think I'm going to have to sack it here. I get, I, I get why he wants it. He or wants I make it. the Risky Switch into my... He wants Overquill so he can get the Aqua Jet chip. Great Tusk. I'm going to make the Risky Headlong Switch Rush would have been good, too, over High Horse Power, yeah. He could Earth Power. He could Earth Power. Earth Power into Psychic, though, should not knock us out. Ooh, mixed. That did zero. <laughs> the mixed. That did zero. <laughs> Look at that. I like this. I like this. We're doing good. We're doing good. All right. Meteor Beam is so fire. Heavy slam. I think Spin is fine if you're faster. He doesn't have Booster Energy. At plus one. Oh no, we're not faster than him. Never mind. Oh, we're if you're not faster than him, then you definitely just attack. You just attack. Uh, I think I just go for the high horsepower here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we'll psychic, psychic agility. That's so far. 
uh, we took it. I, w I would love an upgrade. Our new version now of goes Coliseum the says XD Gale Darkness. Like a new one. A cont All right, awesome, uh, awesome. Not a remake, but a new, new one. But I wouldn't mind a remake either because some of the, they could they could do a, got ape, they could do different thunders. shadow Pokemon and give us new events. Very scary offensive mods. I think I just need to be aggressive. Dude, if it wasn't AV, that would have been fire. But yeah, Leah looks in uh, hella control right now. Unless Ape does something crazy. The boom. I think I sack off Zapdos here. Like if he had rocks and this was yeah, SD, this in could handy. win. And I really don't need Zapdos at this point. Yeah, I really don't. I really don't need Zapdos. I mean, I could have stayed in I, here. I, oh, excuse me. If he if he had like. More hazards. Actually, no, what am I talking about? Oh no, did I mess up? Uh I might have messed up. I should have probably ice spinnered. Oh shoot. I think it's fine. <sighs> okay, this oh oh man, oh man, I think I messed up. If he swords dances, that's really bad. I don't think he kills you though. I'm hoping Oh, he could be scarf, maybe. Kieran, I mean I still have overquill, so he might think we'll go into overquill. Yes, that's fine. I don't know if we can static through um Woodhammer, can we? Yeah, you can. I don't think so. You definitely can. So the next one's gonna knock us out. I don't. We might not be faster than him. If we are though, Hurricane destroys him. Was this really? See, I don't want a Hurricane though because Was that could give him Adam into scarf. And that's a problem. So I'm gonna bolt switch here, in hopes that we're faster. Well, actually, no. Should I just let him knock me out? I think I just Thunderwave. Bolt switch or Thunderwave are fine. Thunderwave gets you more. I'm gonna Thunderwave. All right, so he's faster. He's gonna knock us out. Para? Oh, no, we do para. static. That's dope. I mean, that was three hits. So. That's great, actually. Holy crap. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's like best so case scenario. Switch into Ogre Pond now, I think, right? Yeah, you just get an attack yeah, off. Ogre Pond should be able to come in here. And we're just going to obliterate him. Grassy Glide comes nowhere near close to knocking us out. This is where if I had sub, that would be nice. So yeah, Ivy Cudgel just smacks this, and whatever did, comes Joshua. in is taking rocks and this Ivy Cudgel. So yeah, like it's, it's a good inter. This is not too Plus bad. Spike. This is not too bad. My Plus Spike, like he has everything. Ape is going to take too much. Infernape could still be a problem. I guess technically... Depend huh. Nasty Plot, Air Balloon, Infernape could win. Like, actually, Nasty Plot, Air Balloon, Infernape could win. Right? Because you have Vacuum Wave for Bundle, Yokeo, Uxie at plus two, and AV Great Tusk is weakened. Ooh, Ape could bring, it, Ape could bring this back. Ape could bring this Infernape back. Infernape had such a great matchup against us, too. Ape could literally bring this really back. really good matchup. Mixed or special, it was super terrifying. Let's speed up a little bit. I'm just really worried that if Ape or Thunderous set up a boost, that they win the game for him. That's what I'm really, really scared about. So he's gonna switch out. He's at about 55. Wait, Infernape. hard into Infernape? Das Boots. He's not boots. I don't know. Oh, I think he went before us. Oh, it's Scarf Ape. So he's trying, to... here. he's trying to save. I don't know if that wins, though. Yeah, I want to say I saw him get his recover before us. Oh, I was really I'm hoping for that. I was really hoping for the yeah, nasty plot. What up, Am? You kind of made it to the end of it, fam. I was really hoping for the nasty plot there. I think I like need nasty plot. Like, I, I can't let him set up. Oh, he lived! Oh my god. Wow. Ogre, Ogre Pond is a problem. I did not think we would live that. Also, I'm dumb. I'm dumb because he went before us. We're Eevee to be faster than him. I was so scared of him setting up. I was so scared of the thought of him setting up that I completely forgot. Oh, hey, we're Eevee to be faster than him. He went before us. Of course he's choice scarfed. Darn, I'm dumb. That was dumb on my end. Bro. That was dumb of me. But we give her the ape. Thunderous comes in. I'm just sacking this. We have Intimidate for the Rillaboom, which what is What up, Luna? Okay, Yo, I imagine it was Nasty Plot. Weakness policy! Off, guys. In comes the Rillaboomer. I think you definitely put it off. There's not enough turns of Grassy Terrain either. So, like, you can't even Grassy Glide. So Shoot, Grassy Glide does knock us out. Yeah, but... Darn, Grassy Glide knocks us out. There's not enough uh, turns. I can bring Yuxi here, I think. Yeah, you can save Differential. And then go from there. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna bring Yuxi here. That's good. He wants as much as... Grassy Glide, I don't know if it makes contact or not, honestly. I want to say it does. I want to say it does, because we're Rocky Helmet. Yep. That is great. Okay, good. And that's that's the terrain. So I can go for the U-turn. Or Psychic. Actually, I might just sack this off, because Psychic... Yeah, I'm just going to Psychic here. I feel you, Pepsi. Yeah, we should be good. We should be good. I could have U-turned as well. Well played. Dude, that boulder? What? Meteor Beam? I was not expecting that whatsoever. At all. Oh, he gets parried. I don't want to stay in on this with my Yuxi. That's the thing. So I'm going to U-turn here. Smart. As we knock him out. Okay, I did not think that would actually knock him out. That's great. Actually, him getting paired might have actually been good for us because Thunderous could have come in here, maybe, and tried to set up. I think I need to Ogre Pond here Much just because it is Evo. my hardest hitting Mon. Great Tusk. Actually, Ice Spinner. Um, no, I think we win. I think we win. I think we're good. You still have Bundle the back, too. Yeah, I think we're good. Actually, could I Iron Bundle? I think we're going to Iron Bundle because we're Scarfed. 
And even if he scarfed, I think we're good. Yeah, especially if he takes rocks. He's 100% in range of Ice Beam. I mean, sorry, he is going to be in range of Ice Beam. Dude, no, ha no hazards up would have been... Kill here, sorry. With, um... Bundle. Yeah, he just Ice he Beam. take rocks. Ice Beam straight destroys this. Low-key, this, this Mon could have been... We're scarfed. If, if this was not, like, scarf, if this was Yachi, this Mon could have been insane in the late game. Like, actually, like, it being Yachi would be insane right here. So even if he's scarfed, we're still faster. Naturally, though, we're faster anyways. Like, legit, Drew could win when down 5-1 if this is Yachi. Because look at his team. Everything dies. Well, uh, Oxy probably doesn't die. Like, like... We could still go for a uh, prankster T wave plus Yachi. Well, yeah, I think. Especially if he takes rocks. Bundle. Obviously, the the video ends rocks. in like two seconds, so I don't think it's Yachi. Ice beam straight destroys this. We're scarfed. So I don't. Scarfed, I don't think Jet. Faster. I don't think Jet uh, from Naturally Yachi Ice beam anyway. would still kill. Then again, I ran a solve. Yeah, unless he's Yachi Barry, we live, and I think we're good. I don't think Jet think kills game, after guys. Yachi. I want to say this is game. Yes! It's, it's bulky. And it drops, ladies and gentlemen. That is nice the victory job. for your Carolina Hatchers in week four of the second season of the SPL. We got our revenge back on Drew for season one. He taught, he beat us there. We got our revenge here. Now we're sitting at three and one nice heading job. into week number five, which is amazing. We're doing great. We already got more wins than we did season one. So I'm yeah, very, he very did. happy. He Good definitely game to Drew. Did. Check him out. His channel link is will be down below. And with that being said, answer the question of the day. Leave a comment, guys. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all. We put Suicune. Suicune. My question of the day. That was a good game. That was very fun. Um, I definitely think Drew needed some hazards up that game because I think that would have helped with all the doubles and the pressure because he did cause Leo to switch a lot. So I think some hazards would have helped a lot. But yeah, great comeback on Leo's part. We're going to end it there. Appreciate everybody coming through. I'll probably do pickums on Thursday this week. So, you know, two days. And enjoy your Valentines, everybody. And if you're alone, well, watch my video that goes up and chill and have a good time. All right. This day doesn't matter. It's whatever. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace. Watch, check out my video as well that came out earlier today with Garganachi being suspected. Appreciate everybody.